The following is a special presentation of the National Lacrosse League. It's a West Division clash tonight in Vancouver as the Warriors host the San Diego Seals at Rogers Arena. Vancouver is looking to keep the momentum going on home turf after winning their first game of the season against the Riptide. The Warriors are coming off a Christmas bye week and will be well rested against the San Diego team that's playing their second game in three nights. It's the Vancouver Warriors and San Diego Seals. And this is the National Lacrosse League on Bleacher Report Live. It's an early face-off from Vancouver today as the San Diego Seals visit the Warriors. Welcome to Rogers Arena. I'm Chantel Chant. Now, the Seals, they just played two days ago and took a loss against Calgary. So they're still searching for their first win of the season. As for the Warriors, they're just looking to ride into the new year on a two-game win streak. And when their four guys, Logan Schuss, Mitch Jones, Keegan Ball, and Jordan McBride are feeling it, they're just really tough to beat. With all that and much more, let's get you to Brandon Nassel and Brad Challoner, guys. Thank you, Chantel. Yeah, Brad, 2019 was the first year of existence for both the Warriors and Seals in the NLL. And boy, did these two franchises get to know each other, to say the least, as they formed quite the rivalry in a three-game series a year ago. Yeah, I was really born uh, January 19th right here inside Rogers Arena. And the Warriors came out hard and aggressive. And that was the first night they really became the Vancouver Warriors to me and put that hard, agitating, aggressive, tough-to-play-against style onto the floor. You saw the captains go at it. They went hard at rookie phenom Austin Stotts all night long. A lot of big hits in that one. And that really bred the rivalry. And that bled over into the February game down south in San Diego where the Vancouver Warriors beat up on the Seals 14 to six and probably their best offensive and defensive performance of the year. Uh, so again, this year, these teams are going to play each other three times. The only team Vancouver is going to see three times. So the scheduling gods kind of forcing this rivalry too. And uh, it's been nothing short of living up to the hype so far. And the Warriors have played 20 games so far in their NLL existence. And you mentioned it, that that game on February 8th in San Diego, for my money, still the best game from start to finish for the Warriors in their franchise. Yeah, Keegan Ball put up 10 points in that one, a really coming out party for NLL Flash's comeback player of the year. I mentioned Eric Penny started in that one. He'll start tonight, by the way. He only allowed six goals. That was the best defensive performance by a Vancouver NLL team dating back five or six seasons. Just a, a real special night for both ends of the floor. And we'll see if Vancouver can, can use that energy and string together their first ever two-game winning streak here this afternoon. Warriors captain Matt Beers has been in the NLL for 10 years now, Brad. He's had a lot of great performances, but none better probably than the one he put forth a few weeks ago in the win against New York. Yeah, I just absolutely epitomized wearing the C did Matt Beers last week. Uh, both ends of the floor chipped in offensively with a goal and three helpers, but was his normal uh, beastly self on that back end, laying the hammer down, uh, hard hits, causing turnovers, swallowing up loose balls. Uh, he did everything. He was the first star in that game, and he earned it. And where number two goes, the rest of the Vancouver Warriors defense goes. And for San Diego, what an acquisition in the offseason getting Wesley Berg, Brad. Yeah, an unbelievable player, and it looks like he's refreshed and re-energized in a new setting here in San Diego. Uh, he's got an inside game, he's got an outside game. He's a freak of an athlete, and he's really been their quarterback so far this season. Leads this team with eight goals, and ball's gonna go through his stick on most offensive sets, so expect the Vancouver Warriors to play Berg tight tonight. Well, it's Sunday fun day. And what better way than these two go head to head? Hopefully the rivalry spills into this year. We'll see in a few moments time. We're coming back live from Rogers Arena with the opening face off. The NLL on BR Live is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com to see how much you could save. And by Alterna Bank, Canada's end-to-end -end digital bank. Alterna puts the good in banking. Visit alternabank.ca to learn more. Welcome, Welcome back, back inside Rogers Arena. How about some Sunday afternoon lacrosse from the Raj downtown Vancouver? I'm Brandon Ass alongside Brad Challoner. Third member of our crew, Chantel Chan, is down working the benches. We'll hear from here, her in a few moments' time. But first, Brad, 
A meeting between the Warriors and Seals. Last year, San Diego took the season series 2-1. We'll see if the Warriors can get a little bit of re revenge. Yeah, Vancouver probably sitting there wondering this morning, when is it our turn? When is it our turn? But capping off a, a wild weekend of National Lacrosse League action, every team in, in action. And the Vancouver Warriors are going to start this game with Eric Penny tonight. Going to roll the full on tandem to start this season. It went Penny, Bold, now back to EP61 for game number three here. He's 0-1 with 11 goals against and a 771. Let's go down to the floor. Chantel's with Chris Gill. Coach, you, your team's pretty well rested coming into tonight's game, today's game. How is that an advantage for you guys? You know what? I don't think it's an advantage anyway. Both teams are hungry, divisional game. We both want to win this thing. And, you know, some people are saying this is kind of a rivalry from last season. Do you feel that tonight? Yeah, it's a rivalry, uh, any divisional game. But, uh, yeah, we're excited about tonight. All the best, coach. guys. Thank you, Chantel. we got to look at Eric Penny. How about the... Other goaltender, Frank Chiliano, looking to get back on track. His second start this weekend as he started Friday night at home, let in 16 goals. 0-2 on the season with a 14-9. Hasn't been the best start for the season for the San Diego Seals. And Frank Chiliano, he'll try to bounce back here in front of friends and family, the local boy. Warriors Seals, first of three meetings. Snyder against Clellan. To Sy start things off. And Sykes and Justin Salt are already exchanging some hacks and wax. Could they go off the whistle? We're underway from Rogers Arena. Clean win from Snyder. Vancouver starts with it. Should be well rested. The Warriors off a bye week. Just mentioned the Seals played Friday at home to Calgary, took the loss. Mitch Jones coming off a nine point game a few weeks ago. Sucks in a couple defenders down low from Frashus and he scores! Jones takes a couple defenders with them, leaves Logan wide open, and he buries it. The first shot of the game ends up in the back of the net. That's how you start a lacrosse game. Logan on an island all by himself, slips behind the San Diego D, and not going to be denied on the doorstep. 20 seconds in, Vancouver is on the board. That's how you start. Shus, his fifth of the season from Mitch Jones. Shus did not score against San Diego in two games last season. Had eight helpers, but couldn't beat Chiliano. But he's going to go upstairs on a couple fakes early in this one. So a quick strike from the home team. Snyder with another clean win. Flips it back to Matt Beers. Coming off a four-point performance is Matt Pierce. He once had a five-point game against Minnesota in 2012 when he's a member of the Washington Stealth. It's the dog, Brandon Clellan, back in the lineup for the San Diego Seals. He'll take the bulk of the draws tonight. He's 59% in the two games that he's played. Was scratched Friday with Jeremy Noble. Just had a close, close call there. Mallory and Lowen cross-seam pass, and Mallory denied with a right shoulder. Shiliano, now San Diego gets their first touch of the afternoon. Here's Westberg leading the team in scoring with 15 points. Down to the far side, this is Fields. One to watch on the San Diego squad. Five on the shot clock. Berg, Noble, running out of time and space. Noble, sharp angle shot, Penny the save, and he's got it. Good first defensive set for the Vancouver Warriors. Almost a shot clock violation. Keep the team at bay, keep them out to the perimeter. And that's where you want to keep Noble. He, he's challenged to fight his way to the inside of the floor. And the more you can keep Noble to the outside, he's forced to take bad shots or just dish. Logan Schuss looking for more. Working a two-man game with Jones. He'll let one rip that's blocked. Lands back in front for Mallory. Mallory with a swim move. Five on the shot clock. Tough angle. Can't get it on goal. And the Seals will run it back down the floor. Graydon Bradley and Brandon Cleland. The two players for San Diego tonight who didn't play Friday. Vancouver's only sub from two weeks ago is Chris O'Doherty back in the lineup with Sam Clare, the scratch. Sorry for the clock issue. I think we got that figured out right now as Penny makes his second stop of the afternoon. Now Goodwin in transition lets it rip wide. And it goes over the glass and out of play. Did not touch a seal, so it is San Diego possession. No, and then the back official overrules. And it's going to stay with Vancouver. Mr. Garrison, the crew chief, will override the call. And a nice fresh 30 here for the Warriors to work with. Keegan Ball thought about cutting towards the net. Not a lot of space. Plays it back up top for Shuss. He unloads a shot that's trickled on its way through. That was partially blocked, and Shiliano makes a stop. 12.30 to go, first quarter. If you're just joining us, Logan Shuss scored 20 seconds in. Mitch Jones with the primary helper. Now Berg looking to even the score. Sets it up, Kiernan. 
to the far side. Fields, now to Berg. A little bit of room to work with, but we've got a push in the back as Caudron hits the deck. That was Kiernan creating the infraction. Legal pick on Kiernan oh, yeah. as he set a hard one on the back. So we got the official wired up as always. We also have Eric Penny wearing a mic. We'll hear from him throughout the game as Keegan Ball comes in, throws it in front for Mallory. Still looking for his first of the Warriors. Passes to McBride, hard feed to Jones, couldn't corral it. And it harmlessly rolls into the crease of Shiliano. Uh, handcuffed him a little bit. McBride puts some fake shot, turned into a pass. Too hot to handle for Jones. Back to the way we go. Buchanan on the short side, cutting in. Lost control, ran through the crease. Seals get it back, shot clock halfway done. Hard bouncer, finds Westberg. Berg with eight goals on the year, loses the handle, and it lands behind the net for Pearson. Dunk attempt didn't work. And the Warriors' defense and Eric Penny have come to play early on this afternoon. Still 1-0 Vancouver. Shots are 3-2 for the Warriors. Final game of a three-game homestand. The next couple will be on the road for Vancouver. As Ball takes a shot off the crossbar, beats Shiliano over the right shoulder. And that might have went in. Chris Gill might throw the flag here. He's looking for a replay, waiting for somebody to tell him to throw it. And there it is on the floor. We might have a goal here, ladies and gentlemen. I got it, LT. He's got 25 seconds to throw that flag after San Diego gets and possession. And that's a goal. Yeah, and they didn't, they didn't get the replay up on the board fast enough, but Chris Gill trusting his gut and trusting his teammates on the floor to chuck that flag. It looks like Vancouver's gonna be up here to zip early. It does not touch the net, but it's over the goal line clearly, and it backspins right back out in front of Shiliano. So we'll send it down to the official who probably won't need too long to look at this. Ian Garrison on NLL Wired. Hey, video replay, uh, we need that shot, the last shot by Vancouver. And I wanna stay in the uh, overhead cam here. I think that's the money angle, the overhead shot. Yeah, Coach I got Merrill your overhead here. On. Slow it down. Slow it. Keep going. Perfect. Thank you very much. Actually, give me one more look just to make sure I got nobody in the crease. Just give me a wide out look. Just crossing yeah. is. That's good. He's in dot in the eyes here, but a pretty quick yeah, one from nobody Ian Garrison. All good. Thanks, guys. He's made up his mind. We'll hear the announcement here in a few seconds before he puts his bucket on. After review, the ball contacts the crossbar, crosses the goal line. The no goal ruling is overturned. Good goal. Eight, eight seconds will be added to the game clock. Keegan Ball had a 10-point game a year ago against San Diego. He's off to a good start here. He's got four on the season. And more importantly for his Warriors, they're up two. 16 points in two games last year against San Diego. And eight points a week ago, Keegan Ball has been, I, I want to say pleasant surprise, but I think the Warriors had high hopes for Keegan Ball when they did sign him as a free agent. So from surprise is the right word. They, they showed some faith and he's coming through for the Vancouver Warriors. Keegan had six assists in that win against the Riptide a few weeks ago. His career high was nine. That was part of his career night, 14 points he had against Philadelphia late last year. Yeah, that was a league best in a season ago. Callum Crawford did that this weekend for New England. Keegan Ball nearly had another hard underhand rip denied by Shiliano. That's his best stop of the afternoon so far. Warriors will get another possession. Past the four minute mark. Around the outside it goes. Here's Riley Lowen. Far side feed and Mallory whiffed on it. Had some room on the far side, but threw it over the glass. Yeah, they can get Mike Mallory going. Everybody else has found every offensive player has scored a goal this season for the Vancouver Warriors. Mallory's the only one that's been snake bit so far. Shots are 5 2, Vancouver. Seals looking to break the ice. Here's Greer ripping it off Penny. No rebound. Greer coming off a seven point game on Friday in that loss to Calgary. Four goals, three assists. So far, so good for Eric Penny. Three shots, three saves. Looking for his first win between the pipes. He started the season over against Calgary. And now in front, here's Jones working his way in and almost bowled over Shiliano as he blew it past the crossbar. Seals get possession, make the change. Here's Pearson, dumping it down in the corner. 
Seals set up the offense. Tor Ryan Holt to Buchanan. Kyle Buchanan has recorded 50 points, at least 50 points in six consecutive years. Now wide open front, there's Ryan Holt, can't dunk it over the shoulder of Penny. There's Eric's best save of the afternoon. 9.30 to go. It's all Warriors so far. We're coming back with more first quarter action. Vancouver 2, San Diego no score. This is the NLL on BR Live. Not the best first five minutes for Pat Merrill. San Diego seals down 2-0 on goals from Logan Schuss and Keegan Ball. You can catch the San Diego Seals in Vegas. Vegas, baby, February 1st against the Colorado Mammoth. Get your tickets at sealslax.com. So what a start for Mitch Jones and the Vancouver Warriors. Looking pretty fresh coming off that recent bye and coming off the win against the Riptide. Take and before we get things going, some uh, wired for sound. Let's take it down to the floor. Stop the ball, track the ball. Here we go, boys, here we go. Let's go, really. Watch bench, watch bench. Top right. There he is, Eric Penny, wired for sound. Not many goalies in this league, I think, would agree to be mic'd up, but Eric Penny says, eh, let's do it, have some fun tonight. Logan today, I guess. Sunday, it is Sunday fun day yeah, after all. Every time you say tonight, it's two bucks in the fine jar. I'm perfect so far. So far, I think Chantel and you both owe a tuny. As Ball takes a shot, rips it wide. Four on the shot clock. It's going to go out of play anyway. So we'll be San Diego Ball. 9.03 to go. San Diego was guilty a couple nights ago against Calgary of, of not answering some of the Calgary Roughnecks runs as they win that game 16-11. But that was something Pat Merrill talked about after that game was eliminating runs and Vancouver up to a 2-0 start here. The Seals would love to answer. Fields with an outside rip hits the shoulder of Penny. Scramble for the loose ball at the end boards. Beers down there digging for it but Noble is the man getting it off the turf and another 30 seconds here and a penalty coming to Vancouver. Away from the ball I believe so the extra attacker coming on for San Diego. Off the bench Buchanan fires it to Berg. Across the floor to Fields, we got a push in the back as Beers was dumped by Greer. To the box, illegal body check. So we got an illegal body check to Matt Beers as San Diego will get the game's first power play. Went five for eight on Friday against Calgary. Yeah, that was a shining point for the Seals. And a little late, Beers Vancouver gives a shoulder. Two, two minutes, illegal body check. To Jeremy Noble, who will be right back out there on the power play for San Diego. But that was a bright spot if the Seals are looking for some from Friday night. It was their 5 for 8 on the power play. Westberg leads the league in power play goals right now through the first few weeks. Let's see what they can do here. Yeah, Berg, five of his eight goals this year have come on the man advantage as they work it around the outside. A near steal as Salt got his stick in the passing lane. It rolls back to Buchanan. Buchanan to Greer. In the middle for Buchanan, Greer. Buchanan shoots, Penny the save, got his left pad on it. Rebound picked up by Fields and the Seals reset. Down a couple goals, big power play here for them if they want to get on the board. Berg. Looks, dumps it off to his left, Buchanan cross the floor, wide open shot, Penny sliding to his left, makes a phenomenal stop and it trickles in. He thought he had it but Fields able to get a little English on it. And it's a 2-1 game. See how this trickles. The whistle goes too to stop the play. I wonder when this squeaks in. First is no goal, and then is goal. <laughs> that is just tough luck. And doesn't stop rolling as you hear Ian Garrison oh. say there. The Warriors fans don't like it here inside Rogers Arena. The ref had a perfect view on it. Watch, he waves it off initially. Doesn't blow the whistle, and the ball is stuck against his left leg, and it trickles and there it down. Goes, just caught. There's a rough break for Eric Penny, but a power play goal to San Diego. They end the run, and it's 2-1. Usually, nine times out of ten, you, you see the official blow it dead, but he saw that ball hanging on the back calf of Eric Penny, and unfortunately, it's 2-1 for Penny and the Warriors. Power play goal from Fields, his fifth of the season. Big loose ball there for Brody Merrill. As he takes some punishment from the Warriors defense. Ends up bringing the ball up the floor for San Diego. Shot by Noble, denied by Penny. Rebound 
Controlled by O'Doherty, who's back in the lineup. Missed the last game. Runs the floor with Ball and Goodwin. Here's Doherty to Ball behind the defense. He shoots, and Shiliano keeps it out. They ran through the crease, says the official. And Shiliano without his helmet. Otherwise, that was the ball that was still rolling, too. I was waiting for that one to keep going. Now, Buchanan right here. with a rip. Stopped by Penny. O'Meara gets the loose ball. Back and forth we go. Shots are 9-6 San Diego as the Warriors are up by a goal. Egan Ball and Logan Schuss, the goal scorers for Vancouver. Here is Jones. Taken down, that's going to be a penalty. He was dragged to the floor. And going to the box, a little too Thank zealous you. there is Graydon Bradley. And Vancouver will get their first opportunity on the man advantage. Jonesy. Right. Let's go. Spread. Graydon Bradley going to go. The Second year player getting back into the lineup for the first time this season. I like the way Graydon Bradley Line plays the cross. Two He's a minutes, illegal cross check. Physical athletic, athletic defender. Yep. Plays great here in the summertime in the lower mainland. And he's got a bright future and happy to be back in the lineup to the active side of things. And he takes Mitch Jones for a ride. He'll sit for two. Warriors have the eighth ranked power play in the NL. They're five for 12 this season as they play it around the outside. Shuss gets the feed, has a lane. He shoots and Shiliano falls down to keep it out. Nice save by the goaltender as Shuss nearly had his second. Both Shuss and McBride lead the Warriors with two power play goals apiece this year. Six minutes to go, first quarter. 9-7 is a shot lead for San Diego as they have 10 seconds left on their shot clock. Still short-handed. Cutting towards that is Buchanan. Shot right on, Penny to save, and the Warriors will take it the other way in transition. If you love the NLL, you'll love all the highlights on our social channels. Get the best goals, saves, and action during the games and during the week on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and NLL.com. Power play right back out there. Jones playing the middle. Ball, Jones, Shuss. Little bit of room, thinking, thinking. Finds Ball, back door. And that was stopped by Shiliano. Keegan Ball fetches the rebound. Now Jones with a lane, shoots, rips it off the arm of Shiliano. Power play's over in 45 seconds. Third opportunity here for this man advantage. Jones up top, shoots, missed the net. Jones gets it back off the ricochet, loses the handle. Could be a chance the other way for the shield. Seal shorthanded. Cameron holding on a shorthanded break. He shoots and he scores. Holding takes the feed. An open lane to the net, and he scores a shorthanded marker. And the Seals have rattled off two straight. Shorthander sting as Mitch Jones shot the ball wide, tried to scoop the ball over to Keegan Ball, but it got knocked down, and Brody Merrill, the savvy vet, air mails it to another savvy vet and Cam Holding. On the gallop in transition goes five hole past Penny and we're back to square one here in a tie game. After a rough opening few minutes, Chiliano has really calmed down. Give him credit on that goal. He won't get an assist, but he made a couple of key stops. And Holding gets his first of the year, the fourth round pick in the 2018 expansion draft. Still 25 seconds of power play time left for the Warriors as Cleland and Snyder in a stalemate on this face-off. And now finally Doug Free, Salt had it for a second, it's knocked out from behind and the Seals come up with a loose change. Under five minutes to go, looks like the Seals are gonna kill it off as Bradley's gonna take the turf in six seconds. San Diego with the momentum right now as they have tied things up at two. They are heading the shot department now, 11 to nine. Yeah, they answered back just like Pat Merrill wanted in the Calgary game. Allow to get to. Fields a five on the shot clock. Dumps it into the corner. Pearson couldn't hang on to it. And James Ray just going to box out Pearson as we get the whistle. And we will take a breather. We got a good one here on Sunday Fun Day from Rogers Arena. The Warriors and Seals deadlock at two. This is the NLL on BR Live. Welcome, welcome back to Vancouver. The Warriors and Seals nodded at two. I'm here with Jordan McBride. Jordan, it's a tie game. How do you guys get out to a lead now? Just got to keep up the hard work, stop the transition, and we're going to be doing pretty good here. All right, good luck for the rest of the game, guys. Thank you, Chantel. We heard from Eric Penny once already. Let's hear from the goaltender again as he's wired for sound. Got time, got time, got time. Good call, good call. 
You need to go upstairs. Chris! It's all right, it's all right. Good hustle back. The NLL is in action next weekend with two games on Saturday. Kicking off the weekend, Matt Rambo and the Wings visit Connor Kelly and the Riptide, while Mitch Jones and these Vancouver Warriors head to Denver, Colorado for a face-off with Dylan Ward and the Mammoth. Catch the action on BR Live in the league's Twitter and Facebook accounts. Warriors looking to regain their lead. Jones in front, found a man open, he fell. It was McBride, he still made the pass, and then it ends up in the middle of the floor. Good act of sticks from San Diego. And they'll run it back with under four minutes to play. Vancouver wins the first five minutes. San Diego wins the second five minutes. And we'll see who can close out quarter number one here. Evenly split. Start to this lacrosse game. That was Schuss and Ball opening the scoring back to back. But Fields and Bradley, or Holding rather, have responded for the Seals. And now a push in the back call coming up here to Vancouver. Cannon gonna take it around the net of Penny. She faked it. Faked out the commentator, now Fields on the far side, backing away from the pressure. Throws it behind the net now for Buchanan. On his offside, Buchanan up top for Berg. Berg around his defender, shoots and put it wide. Fields looking to get the rebound, harassed from behind by O'Doherty. Seals get it back with under 10 to shoot. On the near side, Buchanan lets one rip wide. Five on the shot clock, one last chance, and Penny makes a save from the outside on Fields. Kept them to the perimeter. Nice defensive shift by Vancouver as O'Doherty gave a nice chop to the hands of Connor Fields and then kept him at bay for the long distance shot. Under three minutes ago in this opening quarter. Keegan Ball with possession. Gets the screen from McBride. Plays it up top for Schuss. One hand on his stick. Turns away from his defender. Swim move. Schuss. Lowen. Schuss. Stopped by Shiliano. Great two-man game between Schuss and Lowen. Nearly capitalized. There were some oohs and ahs from the crowd on that swim. Extra, that have been a finish. That would have been pretty. Extra possession here for Vancouver. McBride coming off a four-goal game against the Riptide. Pressure from behind. Hits the turf. Great defense there by Garrett McIntosh. And the Seals will take it across the timeline. Uh, McIntosh, big body BC boy. Played in some big lacrosse games. Takes McBride down to the ground. Two minutes to go, first quarter. Seals looking for their first lead of the game. Kieran into Berg, he shoots it. Got blocked in front. Goes over the glass and out of play. Last touch by the Warriors. Berg will start with it. Hey, I'm look Come on, Snides! Berg doesn't like what he sees just yet. Now to the far side, he finds Fields. Somebody lost their stick, it's Noble. Now we got a penalty coming up to Vancouver. Shiliano hustles to the bench for the extra attacker. Still lots of time on the shot clock as the Seal set up six on five. Jeremy Noble's drawing everything today. Fields up top for Berg. Unloads, puts it wide, it's loose behind the net. The Seal's got it, Fields behind the back feed to Noble. Couldn't catch it clean. Goodwin touches up and the Seals gonna get their second power play of the quarter. They're already one for one. Bobby Snyder's gonna get a holding call for... No, it's Lloyd going off. Lloyd, sorry, getting the, stealing the stick from Jeremy Noble. Cooper probably 42, two minutes holding the stick. He's rolling away from Noble as he's pushing off from a check. And Lloyd steals the one, doesn't like it, and San Diego back to the power play where they're one for one. And that power play goal came from Fields. He's out there on the far side with Greer, the two lefties. Noble playing the middle for now. Goes back to Greer. Noble steps into a shot. Penny to save. Rebound in front, put wide. Seals get the loose ball on the fresh 30. Just over a minute to go here in this equal first quarter. Pressure, equal pressure. Berg. Noble. Noble swings it back to Berg, but he missed him completely. And Berg will pick it up just in front of the center line. Still 14 seconds on the shot clock. Berg trots back in, throws it to Greer, right back to Berg, behind the back feed, Noble shoots, and that did not hit Penny. Shot clock continues to wind down. Four seconds left, behind that, here's a dunk opportunity, and Fields can't put it in. It looked like he had some room there. 33 seconds to go. Still a 2-2 tie. Warriors hoping that this Lloyd penalty carries over to the second. Logan Schuss. Directing traffic, sharp angle shot, and the Warriors have too many men on the field right now. 
And they might have got away with one, but now the whistle sounds and they are going to get the gate. You can hear the seals yelling at the officials and they make the call and it's going to be a two-man advantage. Yeah, they were screaming and this is just a bad Vancouver bench, bench minor, Vancouver two Warriors. minutes illegal substitution. Uh, five players out there when you're supposed to be shorthanded. So 14 seconds to go. Seals with a golden opportunity to go ahead in front. Lloyd still has 51 more seconds left in his penalty and now Barker, the in-home, will serve the second minor. Lots of room to work it around. Here's Fields up top to Merrill, back to Fields. Back in front for Berg and he put it off the post. Rebound goes to the far side. Beers lowers the shoulder on Fields. Whistle sounds and it's gonna be Vancouver ball and these two teams in .4 seconds will go to the second quarter, tied up to two. A great start from the Warriors. They are up 2-0 before a blink of an eye, but the Seals respond with two goals of their own and nearly took the lead right there as Berg hit the post. Coming back with more action here from Rogers Arena. Good win brewing here at Rogers Arena. We're tied up at two. Warriors Seals first meeting of the year as we take a look at the summary after 15 minutes, Brad. Mitch Jones, both helpers on the Vancouver goals from Keegan Ball and Logan Schuss and Connor Fields, who I talked about in the pregame needing to jump out for the Seals, gets their first one, a power play marker, and then Cam Holding shorthanded. So nothing but special teams so far for San Diego, and they will head to the second quarter on the power play as well. As Evenly matched first 15, and Vancouver will try to get out of some penalty trouble as we hear from EP61, Eric Penny, once again. And speaking of Penny, he's busy between the pipes. And no shot, no shot, pipes. no shot, Red. That's good, eh? that's a good box out. Good talk, cards, good talk, cards. We can rotate it, so low. Said, hey, keep shooting that ball. Keep going, boys. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, eh? Communication is everything, Brad, especially for a goaltender in this league. It really is, and especially for a defense that has, you know, a couple young faces in Patrick O'Meara and Derek Lloyd, rookies in the lineup. You got Chris O'Doherty back uh, for his first game in a couple weeks as he missed last week due to, uh, due to injury. He's a vocal guy and communication huge for a defense. So the Warriors going to begin the second quarter. Down two men. Lloyd is due out 37 seconds. If Snyder can win the faceoff, they can kill a good chunk of that Lloyd penalty, but gonna be tough to get possession. His best chance is probably just winning it to himself. So it'll be Snyder against Cleland to start this quarter. Shots 14-11 for the Seals. And a false start by Snyder, so it's gonna be Seals possession. Five on three is Buchanan walks in dumps it off for Berg back to Buchanan Berg sharp angle passes to Buchanan Greer fields Greer Buchanan shoots Three Penny the great save looked like he got his right arm on it Seals get the rebound 15 seconds left on their five on three Greer fields Berg behind the back in front Buchanan still can't get it to go five seconds left on this five on three Buchanan to Greer can't get it Lloyd's come out of the box, it'll be a five on four. Seals set it back up, here's a shot by Berg, put it wide. Lloyd comes out, Johnny on the spot, finds a loose ball, and he'll take it across center. He can fly, and now he's got Shuss coming in off the bench. Lloyd looks, shoots, scores! Derek Lloyd, first career NLL goal! What a beauty, and it's shorthanded nonetheless. How do you redeem yourself for taking a penalty? Barry on the run. Derek Lloyd, some of the fastest feet on the Warriors. Beautiful twister, beats Ciliano down low. And the Warriors answer back after some penalty trouble. And it goes to the young man from Calgary, Alberta, Derek Lloyd. He had shots at the back door. Ciliano might have thought he was going to feed him, but Lloyd says, let me have some fun here. And he... Milestone marker for Derek Lloyd. Picked up his first career assist last game in that win against Riptide. He's got his first goal of the career. 52nd overall fourth round draft pick last September. Built like a pit bull with muscles on muscles is Derek Lloyd. And nice to see the kid get his first G-note. 
So the Warriors still short-handed for under a minute. Snyder with the clean win this time. Will look to kill 30 seconds off the penalty to Barker, who's serving the illegal substitution penalty. So the Warriors regain their lead. It's an unassisted goal from Lloyd. Really think transition giving a difference maker in this game. San Diego hasn't had a lot of it this season. Vancouver's had it in flashes. And if they can get a couple on the run tonight, those will be the difference maker. One last chance for this power play to set up as Belgrave will turn it back and head to the bench for a change. Seals are now one for two on the man advantage this afternoon. Minute 30 gone by in the second quarter. Ball thrown to the far side. Buchanan gonna scoop it up off the wall. Comes back in, throws it up high for Bird. Bird, the Greer rips one off the arm of Penny. He is in the zone right now as Eric Penny is Justin Salt fighting for the loose ball. Overshot it, gets it back. He's got Barker out of the box. The Warriors kill off the five on three and they get a shorthanded goal of their own. And we'll see if that can lead to some momentum here as the offense runs out of the front gate. News, features, interviews, highlights, Devin Caney one-on-ones. You can find that all in the NLL newsletter. Visit NLL.com now to sign up. Shot clock down to seven for Riley Lowen. Runs into the middle. Lowen looks, shoots, and that got blocked. Two seconds on the shot clock. And thrown down in front, and Mitch Jones beats the clock! Or Riley Lowen, rather. What a last-second effort from Lowen. A buzzer beater, and it's 4-2 Vancouver. Oh, and he got to have quick mitts. That shot clock was just about to expire. That probably should have been a shot by Jones based on how much was left. But one second there, you see it on the shot clock. One second, he feeds inside, and it's in and out of Riley Lowen's stick as he takes the punishment for getting to the greasy area. And the Warriors have another two-goal run. Riley Lowen, second of the season. Jones will get his third helper in this game. Was thinking, what is he doing here? He doesn't have time to make a pass, but what do I know? What an effort by Jones and Lowe and teaming up for the Warriors. Fourth goal this afternoon. Yeah, that finish. That happens in less than a second, folks. So the Warriors pass, catch, shoot, score. Warriors match their largest lead of the game. Up two. Seals looking to cut into the deficit. Pearson unloads a shot. He scores. Johnny Pearson, his third of the season. Had a good game Friday in that home loss to Calgary, and he gets his team to within one. He's like in the front door. Johnny Pearson, who missed almost a year, had ACL surgery last March, and missed the entire summer, missed the first couple games, was a defensive transition player last year for the most part, and here he is out of the offensive gate. He's got three goals in seven quarters since coming back. Yeah, the 19th overall pick of the 2017 draft. Having a strong weekend for San Diego. Six quarters, excuse me, for Fierce and Pearson. Scramble for it on the faceoff. Jones couldn't pick it up with one hand as Cleland makes the feed to a wide open teammate. Almost three minutes into the second quarter. Shots 18 14 now for San Diego. Greer looking to hit the score sheet in the goal department. Throws it across the floor for Kiernan who shoots and ties it up. Back-to-back -back markers for San Diego. And for the second time in this first half, they erase a two-goal deficit pretty quickly. Yeah, they, they're getting good at answering tonight. That's a great sign for San Diego. Strike back and two in a row, both coming five-on-five five goals. Kiernan shoots through his defender and places it far side. Been a game of runs so far for both sides. Kiernan's second of the year. Greer will get the primary helper. Two's all around. Two nothing, two two, four two, four four. Snyder against Cleland in the circle and we got a false start against Cleland. So Greer picks up his first point. Noble will get the secondary helper. Warriors get their offense back out there. Egan Ball, Lowen, far corner feed to Schuss. He's got Jones in the middle of the floor. Schuss waiting for the seas to part. Here he comes, Schuss under pressure. Pass it to Keegan Ball on the short side. Ball throws it in front, open is Mallory, but he fanned on it again. Did that same thing in the first quarter and now the Seals 
come back into Warriors territory. Just over 11 minutes to go in this first half. Seal still looking for their first lead of the game. Berg. Nico Quitlam native, passes to Fields. Sees the pick coming, Fields. Thought about shooting, packs it in, now lets it go, and he blows one over the shoulder of Penny. And there is the first lead of the game for San Diego, and that's what the Seals want to see from Connor Fields, Brad. Yeah, it's worth the price of admission watching Connor Fields shoot a lacrosse ball. It really is a work of art. And watch this wind up by Fields through traffic and just stings that one short side. You want the kid to shoot more. That is a laser off the shoulder. And in. That's his second of the night for Connor Fields, sixth of the season. Yeah, he had five points in two games last year. And coming into this afternoon, he had nine down. points in three games. Tenth overall Sex. pick in 2018. Also had four points in that loss to Calgary at home on Friday. Now it's 5-4 sealed. They win the faceoff. Reinhold now in a blender. Loses a handle. Well defended by Ray and Hawksby. They team up to grab it. And now the Warriors down a goal. Take it into the seal side. Beers with a bounce pass to McBride over to Mitch Jones. Working on McIntosh. Jones, head up, has a man coming in. It's ball. Throws it behind the goal for McBride and he dumps it in. Jordan McBride ties it up at five. He's done that a few times, eh, Brad? Everyone's got an answer for everything tonight. The defense was kind of thwarted as Matt Beers went off for the late change. A couple heads turn on a swivel. And Keegan Ball able to carry it in, dish to McBride behind the net, and stings his short side on the dunk. Yeah, he spends a lot of time back there. He's done that so many times, that's a set play. Six of the season, coming off a four goal effort a few weeks ago. And he's doing well in the Cy Young race. Does so that six goals, no assists this six, year? Six and oh. He's like the new Casey Beerns. So just like that, we're tied at five. These two teams giving the fans a show. Just over 10 minutes to go in this second quarter. Now we got a push in the back. Call hey. now some rough stuff between too. Salt and Belgrade. Boys, I don't need a minor now. We got the push, that's it. So it's going to be Warrior possession. You can hear the official. He didn't want to give anyone a penalty there. So we play on. It's Keegan Ball to Shuss. Now to Mitch Jones. He got another assist on that goal. Jones with four helpers already. Looking to hit the back of the net, but for now he passes the ball, who shoots one off the shoulder of Shiliano. And now a loose ball is going to be picked up by Lowen as it rolled out of the stick of holding pretty awkwardly, and the Warriors will get another possession. It's a valuable loose by Lowen. You got the extra possession here with the goal to tie things up. Jones bounced past the ball. Under pressure, cuts to the middle, lets it rip. And a nice lunging stop by Shiliano. Rebound comes to Shuss. He sets it up to Jones. Back to Shuss. Little head fake. Shuss to Keegan Ball. McBride going to the front. It comes to Lowen instead. He shoots, and that's stopped by Shiliano as he gets the whistle from the referee. And with that, we will step aside. We got a 5-5 tie in the second quarter. It's been back and forth all afternoon. You're watching the NLL on BR Live. Welcome back inside Rogers Arena. It's over nine minutes to go in the second quarter. A little Sunday fun day at Rogers Arena. Third game of a three-game homestand for Vancouver. And they're not going to see the home floor over the next, what, six weeks or so, Brad? Yeah, so January, mid-January, we're back here as we get another inside scoop here to listen in on Eric Penny on NLL Wired. Hey, watch bench, watch bench. Stay out. Let's go, boys. Get me one here, get me one. And they got him one, courtesy of Jordan McBride as we're back underway. Westberg on the outside, pass it to the near boards. Fields 
Greer back in front, wide open. Kiernan shot, stopped by Penny. Nice play by San Diego to send the cutter to the middle out of the TV timeout. Penny will stand up to it. Good start for Penny tonight. That was Vancouver rolling a pure tandem to start this season. Bold got the win a couple weeks ago into New York, but they go back to game one starter Eric Penny. Here's a shot picked out of midair by McIntosh. He's off to the races. Merrill's with them. McIntosh shoots. Penny saves. Merrill gets a rebound as Penny got his left pad on. Seal's going to settle things down as the offense takes the turf. Seals have put 22 shots towards Penny. Five have beaten him. Greer, one-on-one -on -one against Mallory. Pump fake, Greer to the middle, working on Goodwin. Now he shoots, Penny makes a save. Careful, Battle for the loose ball. Grabbed by Lloyd. Lloyd, gonna slam on the brakes and wait for help off the bench. Eight minutes to play, second quarter. Jordan McBride has the equalizer, he sets it up. Shot clock halfway done for Logan Schuss in front for Jones. Stopped by Shiliano, perfectly drawn up between Schuss and Jones. And Shiliano makes a great stop to keep it tied. Yeah, beautiful save by Shiliano as Jones tries to drop down low. You don't see Jonesy going in that spot very often. He puts it right in the stick of Shiliano. It keeps it 5-5. Here's Berg, one-on-one -on -one against Barker. Swim move, turns back, passes to Greer. Under pressure, McBride stuck out there playing some defense as Greer shoots one off the body of Beers. And the Seals running out of time are going to turn it over. That was a high pressure defensive shift by Vancouver. Nice stand. Coming up, NLL at the half. Logan Schuss smashes some Christmas ornaments at the Ladner box and an Emily Goss feature. First half highlights as well, all coming up at NLL at the half. Shuss rips a shot off a leg over the glass. Last touch by San Diego. Under seven minutes to go now in this quarter. Shots are 23-20. In favor of the Seals as Mallory throws it in front for wide open Keegan Ball and he can't outweigh Chiliano. He lost his stick. Bulls over his net. Chiliano with another great A stop. Meanwhile in transition. A chance for San Diego, but not so fast as James Ray. He gets a steal, throws it in front for Hawksby. He shoots, and he's stopped by Shiliano. Oh, there, Ian Hawksby. It's been a while since he scored. His last goal, April 16th, 2016. Yeah, years for, for Hawksby. And that's probably the best chance he's had in those three, three years. What a play by Ray to make it happen. Still tied at five. Seals possession. It's Fields. He's got a couple already in this first half. Fields gets a feed from Greer, has room. Fields loads up, and he makes a save. Fields tracks down his own rebound. Raish gives him a shove, down goes Fields. Gets it back behind the back feed. Pearson will stop as the shot clock has 22 seconds left on it. No need to rush. Good shift by Fields. He athletic, chases that loose after getting punished and gets right back up. And we'll have the ball here in a second, it looks like. Noble cutting to the net with room. Backdoor feed just missed Buchanan. He was wide open. Fields gets it with seven on the shot clock. Looking to take it to the goal. Fields backdoor feed. Beers saw it coming the whole way and then kicks it free to a teammate in the crease. Such good hands and, and offensive zone Lucy's are, are a huge part of the arsenal of Connor Fields. Under 5.30 to go. Shots are now 24-22, San Diego. On the far side, Mitch Jones gets the screen. Excellent. Passes to Keegan Ball on the near side. Spins, ball. Jones in front, and Lowen ran out of real estate as he let that shot go wide. Runs into a bit of a triple team as a bunch of Seals defenders just collapse in on Lowen. Take the shot away, a couple good defensive stands on both ends of the floor here. Merrill throws it in for Greer and hustles off to the bench for a change. Meanwhile, Westberg throws it in front, wide open, Kiernan scores! Great feed by Berg spotting Kiernan. And he's got his second of the game. It's 6-5 San Diego. We're under good job letting him grind here, eh? Solid, stocky hey, Connor Kiernan. Yeah. When he has a trajectory to the net, tough to knock off his stride. And fights his way to the inside. Catches a pass, goes far side. The right-handed shot goes on the far side of the net as he comes across the crease. And San Diego's got their second lead, as you mentioned, Brando, 6-5. As we go back and forth here in the second quarter. 
Second goal for Kiernan, third assist for Berg. Under five to go in this first half. As we've seen so far in this first half, no lead is safe. Snyder won the faceoff back to Penny, gave it right back to the faceoff specialist. Snyder hits a man off the bench and Mike Mallory. Mallory sees McBride coming. Now they're gonna shoot one. Stopped by Shiliano and goes into the Warriors bench and out of play. We'll take one last break in this half. We're coming back from Rogers Arena. It's the Seals leading the Warriors six to five. This is the NLL on BR Live. Vein with the San Diego Seals for another season of non-stop action. Tickets start at just 15 bucks and are on sale now at sealslax.com. Hit hard, party hard, dive in. Sunday fun day. Good atmosphere at the Rods this afternoon. Look at the kids. A wild weekend it's been. Two Friday night games, five Saturday nighters. All road teams winning last night. Which is crazy. And the Sunday fun day to cap off a, a fantastic weekend here, the final weekend of 2019. Here's Mitch Jones cutting in front, shoots, and Shiliano got his right arm on it. Nice job by Jones to slip a couple defenders, nearly tied it. But Shiliano has had a real sharp quarter. It's actually the last NLL game of the decade, Brad, as Teddy Jenner reminded us on Twitter. Oh, that's wild. Seals looking for their largest lead of the contest, 10 on their shot clock, Fields kept to the outside by O'Meara, it goes to the far side for Berg, three assists in this game as Berg denied a goal there by the left arm of Penny. Rebound scooped up by Fields. Pearson switches places with Fields, now gives it down to him in the near corner. Berg gets it on the far side of your screen, spins, Salt, can't get it away from now in front, Greer put it wide, it's gonna roll the Fields off the end boards. Still 10 on the shot clock as Berg comes in. Lowers the shoulder, Berg shoots, Penny saves. Rebound gonna come in front of the San Diego bench to Fields. And then Fields is dumped, being worked over by Salt who falls. And the Seals gonna get another possession. They've been hard on loose balls this whole afternoon. They really have, they're gobbling up offensive zone loose. He's getting those second possessions, it is massive. Under three minutes to go in this first half, Fields looking for a hat trick. Has room, shoots, and he scores! A carbon copy of a previous goal in this corner. Connor Fields is feeling it, and the Seals are up by two. First career hat trick for Connor Fields, who's shooting the lights out of Rogers Arena here this afternoon. Stings it high short side. Man, oh man. Watching Fields shoot is a work of art. That sidearm, low to high. What a sniper. He's tried that same shot three times. He's been successful twice in this quarter against Penny. Got procedure on the line, we're going black ball. Stick with what's working, but we talked about that being a second no, possession. Not. San Diego out Lucy in Vancouver right now, 38-24. And that's gonna be a, a Vancouver face-off win. So eight for 14 for Bobby Snyder. Warriors trying to get some momentum going their way as Jones feeds in front for shots denied by Giuliano. Just trying to slip the legs of Frankie Shiliano, but he made the nice stop. Bit of a shoveler. That's right where you want to see Logan Shusto. That's where he scored his goal earlier tonight. Or today, I should say. Another two bucks into the you owe four bucks. coin jar. I can almost buy you a beer. 2.15 to go first half. Seals have the shot count. 28-25 as Greer lowers the shoulder. Backs away from pressure. Trying to quick stick to Buchanan on the far side, but he missed it completely. Now the shot clock can expire here for San Diego as a late shot is stopped by Penny. Yeah, it's been a monster quarter for Frank Chiliano. And two unanswered goals here by San Diego. 
Mallory off the bench is just in front for Jones, and he is stopped by Shiliano. He was falling down on his rear end, able to keep it out. Shiliano feeling it Again. in his quarter. Yeah, you're right. That's that's a good look. That's an offensive player. Two-man game slips in right on the doorstep where you want to take a shot from. And Shiliano. Save number. Carry the one. one. And a goal! A fluky one, no signal yet. The official's down there. It's going to be waved off. It went off a leg and thought it beat Penny, but the referees say no. It's Warriors' ball. See if we can get a look at the replay. And now the challenge flag challenge comes flag out of the Seals' bench, and they may have a case here. Hey, Brody! Just a freaky out. play. A pass okay. down low is, goes off the stick of Greer, and then Penny, a little late to react. I just want, Can't get the look what, on that angle. Patty, I don't, I'm but we got a the, challenge from I just want to get your perspective. Pat Merrill will okay. listen in. It's my perspective. We're all smiling. I'll go take a look. Let me take a look. It's a little friendly. <laughs> Didn't hear the come together, come together, come answer together. there from Pat Merrill. Let's hear the here, fellas. I looked for the ball. When I looked for so the ball, I didn't it looks see like Penny goal, might have so it in his left armpit here. Look, it goes that's off the stick of Greer. Penny comes and swipes it with the left arm. Where's the ball now? It's got to be conclusive. It's probably across the goal line, but we can't see it. Like, is that enough to overturn? Well, the referee's deliberating there, saying they did not see across the goal line. I can't see how. Hey guys, let's look at this little situation we got down on the crease. Oh, it's a little situation. I want to back right. up a little further. I from think Pat here. Merrill just chucking the flag because it was so chaotic. Yeah, let's, let's, right let's see what you got. It's a good challenge, nonetheless. But. Unless you see the ball hey, clearly we'll, we'll across the goal line, I don't know how you could call that a goal. Let's go but maybe real there's a slow different frame angle. by frame. Go forward. When I say stop, stop it. This then is we'll a big play swing here it. as the Seals are pouring it on. They're stop. up by two. Yeah, I don't know if they'll find anything Now let's anything go frame by frame here, forward. It does get lost behind Penny. We're getting a deflection off the San Diego stick. Okay, this is now let's slow it down a little bit more here. I want to really track the ball. Rolling. This is good. Good speed. I'm just watching that shooter here, or that deflector at the top. Keep going. Keep going. Great okay. reaction by Perfect. Penny. Now, I need to go and run this once over the overhead here. Didn't track it initially off the tip, but made up Why for it. Why would we not time. have the overhead? So if it is a goal, if it somehow becomes a goal, it, it's a big one. It'll be the biggest lead of the night for any team. Approaching halftime with some momentum, a bit of a stinger against Vancouver. And again, it's just the case like that ball's probably across the goal line, but we can't see it yeah, in the if, gear if of Eric Penny. If there's not a camera angle to find it and call on the field stands, we've got no goal. So Mr. Garrison taking okay, his time. Going. This is good speed. Let's even slow it down just a little bit more here. And just let it keep bouncing frame by frame. Keep going. Hopefully no one's parking's gonna run out soon. <laughs> taking his time down <laughs> there, but sometimes you gotta do it to make he, the right he call. He made up for it by with a couple efficient, with the efficient one earlier. Yeah, I wanna go back to that first angle. So now he wants to go back to the first and angle. You can't get an overhead, you're, you're sure of that. Okay, so well, a minute 25 to play. Right here, we'll have to roll from here. Shots are 30-26 for They're San losing, Diego. Oh, Eric Penny oh, looking on. Here, oh, I got you now. Yeah. Yep. Here's our angle at it. Oh, this Penny. is probably the best angle, Brad, because we can't get the overhead shot. Well, and you see right there, bottom left of your screen, Zach Greer is in the crease regardless. So I think even if this ends up somehow finding an angle or across the goal line, Zach Greer is in the crease, and this probably has to come back anyways. Good point. So how does that power play go in, in the first quarter, that field score? The, the ball spins off the back leg of Penny and stays out. 
but somehow that does not squeak through the wickets of Penny while he's falling down. Game of inches. Gravity. Gravity. Sway. English. Momentum. Yeah. The summer gets caught up in the fabric. The other one was off the stick and it rolled down out of his pants, down his stick and into the back of the net. Garrison is still down there. Wants another look at it. I gotta go back to that first one. And now the fans. I think the fans are saying, let's play some lacrosse here. But then Clock again. 25 to go in the quarter. This this is a big goal hinching on the line here, but I think the fans uh, would like to get after it, as with the players. But then again, beers are cheap. <laughs> they might say, you know Keep what, Keep the Take concession open yeah. for another couple minutes. Sunday. Definitely the longest review of the year. Sunday fun day. There's going to be a carnival on the turf after the game for season ticket holders. They're handing out thunder sticks in here tonight. Today, sorry, okay, there's your six bucks, six Brando. Bucks. That, that'll get you a pint at the sports bar after the game. <laughs> You're still perfect. As I try to, you just jinx me. As I try to jinx you. So looking ahead at the schedules for both these teams. Let's actually talk about the next meeting. It's a big one. Actually, it looks like we got a decision, so we'll send it down to the floor, see if the call stands or not. As a result of inconclusive evidence, the no-goal ruling on the field stands. Yeah, just not enough video evidence to overturn the call, so it stays 7-5 and it's Vancouver ball. Rested legs, ball's in their stick. So now Garrison's talking to Merrill. Let's listen in. I had no overhead, so I couldn't get the ball. I, hey, listen, I'm just telling you what I have in there. That's what it took so long. Yeah, that not happy overhead not getting, angle. I still over, don't think he can. That overhead angle. angle mysteriously missing is what Patrick Merrill's not happy with right now. But I think regardless, again, 88's got his toes in the crease, even if they did find an overhead angle. That, that ball's coming back. We'll see Pat Merrill and his, his staff will try to talk to somebody about those camera angles uh, at the half here. So it's been an action-packed second quarter, to say the least. San Diego has five goals in this queue. Vancouver with three. For San Diego, they got the last two in this game. Seems like forever ago. <laughs> Almost at the half. Like Brad mentioned, we got a couple of neat features. So stay tuned for NLL at the half. But for now, let's get back underway. Keegan Ball gets the screen from McBride. It goes to the far side for Jones. Jones slips a couple defenders, takes a shot. Chiliano makes a save with his right arm. We'll see if the Seals try something in transition here. Holding running the floor, has a man off the bench. And he's just gonna back away from the pressure. Last minute of play in this half. Buchanan finding Greer on the near side. Greer fakes a shot, goes to the far side, nice feed in front, and missing that pass at the top of the crease was Noble. Now Fields nearly had it, has to chase it down as the shot clock's gonna go to two. Look out, Beers had Fields lined up, and it's a shot clock violation. They're taking the body on Fields whenever they can. I thought for a second there he was gonna have another offensive zone Lucy, which would have been Ridiculous, but they're bumping fields whenever they can and try to put some fear into number five who's got a Hattie tonight. So a five second differential between the game and shot clock. Warriors are gonna cut into this deficit. Shuss has it on the Watch far the corner. Hold. Watch the hold. Lowen comes in for the screen. Shuss spins away, passes to Mallory. Seven on the shot clock. Mallory dumps it down for ball from a sharp angle, puts it wide. And that's going to do it for that possession. And the Seals have four seconds left. Long feed in front. Reinhold has a man on the bench. A shot by Noble. Missed the net. And it's going to be a 7-5 lead for San Diego going into the third quarter. Catch your breath. We should be in for a great third and fourth cue. But for now, the score after 30 minutes, San Diego 7. Warriors 5. We're going to hang on a sec here. Chantel's going to... Grab a player here on their way off. Eric Penny 
has been solid. Chiliano, outstanding as well. And it's going to be a quick interview down to the floor. Chantel is with the coach, Chris Gill. Coach, it's 7-5 at the half. You guys got out to an early lead. What do you have to do now to kind of get the lead back? Yeah, we're going to play more, uh, a little more consistent lacrosse here. Um, we're giving them some easy shots, and they're capitalizing. We're happy with the opportunities we've been getting, and, you know, we got to bury those as well. How do you slow down a guy like Connor Fields? Because he's just feeling it right now. Yeah, you put pressure on the ball and uh, cross-check. Thank you so much for your time, Coach. All the best. Trail the Seals at the half. It's 7 5. Coming up next, the NLL at the half. Welcome back to Rogers Arena. The Warriors trail the seal 7-5 at the half. It's Sunday fun day here at Rogers Arena, and the fans are absolutely loving it. Now, the lacrosse family in BC is a very close one. Now, the Goss family is very well known to the lacrosse family, especially the new West Salmon Bellies. And when Emily Goss was hit by a drunk driver, that lacrosse family came together. Let's take a look at Emily Goss's story. My name is Warren Goss, I'm uh, Emily's dad. We're a longtime newest Mr. family, born and raised, and lacrosse has been a huge part of all of our lives. Emily is probably one of the most kind people you're ever going to meet. She cares greatly about everyone. She's an amazing person. Emily used to live in London, and this past summer she decided to go back on vacation to visit friends before she started a program at BCIT this come September. She was out with friends that night, and on her way home, Emily was crossing the street and unfortunately was, was struck by a vehicle, a uh, drunk driver. Myself, my son, my wife, Shauna, Emily's boyfriend, Jamie, and my mother-in-law were on a plane that night. We took a red eye to Toronto and flew to London, and we were in bedside uh, within 17 hours of hearing of the accident. We were told at the time that um, the next few days would be critical. We literally left every single night, hoping and praying that Emily would be with us the next morning. We were told at the time that the part of her brain that was damaged was her communication center, and we were told that it was highly likely that Emily would never be able to talk again, probably wouldn't walk, and may spend the rest of her life in a hospital. The message that we were getting from people back home in the lacrosse community and the support we were getting from people gave us that energy that we need, that little kick that we needed every single day to, to help with Emily's recovery. She is the most determined person you're ever going to meet, and she was like that before her accident. When Emily wanted something, she was getting it. As of last Friday, which was December the 13th, after 180 days, Emily was discharged from Queen's Park Care Centre, which is a rehab hospital. She's now started up at GF Strong in rehab. Every day is hours and hours of therapy. She goes to physio, speech and language therapy, occupational therapy. What motivates her every day is her desire to walk. She talks regularly about wanting to do a half marathon again, play lacrosse again. She is unwilling to sit back and feel sorry for herself. It's unbelievable. Emily is now walking with a cane, refuses to get into her wheelchair because she thinks she's beyond that. She's talking to us. She's learning new words every single day and having, being able to have a conversation with my daughter and four months ago being told that I might not ever has been the greatest thing ever and that's why I'm so grateful every every single day for that. If you told me four months ago that my daughter would walk out of the rehab hospital I would have I, I, I would have paid a million dollars to see that. We learned very early that we have to take things one day at a time and celebrate the little wins along the way. As long as every day Emily gets a little bit better that's great for us and that's continued and in fact it's not just a little bit better she gets a lot better every single day. I just want to thank everyone on behalf of all of us and on behalf of Emily for the amazing support that you've given us. It's been inspiring to know we're part of such an amazing community. We will never be able to communicate properly how much we appreciate that, how much is meant to us. So thank you to everyone. Welcome back to Rogers Arena. You're watching the NLL at the half, and 
The Warriors trailed the Seals 7-5, and one of those five goals from Vancouver came from Logan Just. He has one of the nastiest shots in the league, and he shows you a couple of trick shots. Let's take a look. Hey, Weekend Warriors, this is Logan Shust. Christmas is over now, so today we're going to smash some ornaments. Let's go. This is the milk and cookie smash. It's too easy. I call this one the ornament smash. One, two, three, let's go. blindfolds for this one. Let's see if I can shoot one from half court. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Beautiful, isn't it? Not for long. This one's called Night Night Santa. intense on the turf as well. The Seals lead the Warriors 7-5 at the half and Brad Challoner and Brandon Assel got you covered with some highlights when we come back. This is the NLL at the half. Boy, what a Sunday fun day it's been after 30 minutes. NLL at the half continues on and looking at the summary after 30 minutes, Brad, a couple of players with some big afternoon so far yeah one number not shown 11 loose balls by connor fields to earn those three goals those second possessions for his team have been absolutely huge mitch jones four helpers for the vancouver warriors we take a look at the highlights logan shots got things going 20 seconds into this game on an island all by himself eric penny was sharp through the first 15 as the teams kind of swapped goals vancouver went up two nothing San Diego answered back. It was 2-2, it was 4-2, it was 4-4 until the first three-goal run by San Diego really opened up this lacrosse game. And they've been on top since. It's 7-5 through 30. Things still very much in reach for the Vancouver Warriors as Derek Lloyd's got his first career goal. A beautiful twister, shorthanded after coming out of the penalty box. And here's a nifty little goal, Riley Lowen. And everybody had Jones. an answer for everything in that first 15 minutes until that last goal as run, as mentioned, sorry, by the San Diego Seals. The NLL on BR Live is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com to see how much you could save. And by Alterna Bank, Canada's end-to-end -end digital bank. Alterna puts the good in banking. Visit alternabank.ca to learn more. Derek, first I want to say congratulations. You scored your first career NLL goal. How'd that one feel? Oh, it was awesome. Couldn't do it for a better team. And what did Coach say to you guys in the locker room? Look, he's getting some love right now because you guys are down 7-5 right now. What do you have to do defensively to pick it up? Just to stay on our game. Um, no one can really beat us if we're at our best. All right. Congrats, Derek, and all the best. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Chantel. Yeah, we're back underway. Third quarter from Rogers Arena. Seals up 7-5. They got the last couple goals in this game, and they start with possession. They're out Lucying Vancouver 43-25. Bobby Snyder's got the upper hand in the faceoff dot, though. 8 for 14. Seals going to work, but running out of time. Four seconds to get it towards Penny. Here's Burke from a sharp angle cutting in. Bowls over Penny. And we're going to get a penalty here. Is it going to Burke or Vancouver? He might have been pushed into the goaltender as some rough stuff ensues. Looks like Berg is the guilty party right now. We'll see if he's going to drag a warrior with him as well. I don't think so. Is Penny shaking up, trying to get back to his feet? Burke saw there's just a few seconds on the shot clock, just lowered his head 
And barreled right into the goaltender, and Vancouver's gonna go to the power play. San Diego number 14, a two minute minor goaltender interference. The Warriors given a glorious opportunity to start this third quarter on the power play. As Berg did crash in Eric Penny, no worse for the wear with a fresh fade on EP61. But to the power play we go for Vancouver. Eighth in the league coming into this game, 41.7%. Here's Jones playing the middle, passing to Schuss. Back to Jones. Schuss, Jones provides the screen. He shoots wide of the net. Ball's loose, who wants it? Warriors trying to outnumber the ball. Merrill's got a stick in there. It comes free for Schuss. Five on the shot clock. Schuss behind the back feed to Jones. Jones shoots and he hit Logan Schuss behind the net. That had to hurt. And it's a shot clock violation. Went down like he got shot by a stun gun off that bullet, but a good loose ball by Logan Schuss who outmuscles Brody Merrill. And then behind the back pass to the top of the point. And tries to make something out of that power play. It's still lots of time if they get the ball back and get up the floor. Seals trying to kill some time in the minor to Wesley Burr. Here's a shot and a went off the pipe. Warriors dodge a bullet there. That came out of the stick of Fields. He is letting it rip this afternoon. Yeah, he's got the confidence. You know, we, Zach Rear had four goals on Friday night. We haven't seen much of him going to the net hard tonight, but Fields from the outside is just letting it go. He is dialed, and that's a scary thing. Logan Shaw sets it up for Lowen. Off the arm of Chiliano. Loose ball picked up by San Diego. Belgrave runs the floor with holding. Belgrave cuts to the middle. Pressured from behind. And Belgrave gonna get away from Hawksby for now. Throws it to the far side and a shot is blocked on its way to Penny. And now a loose ball battle gonna be won easily by Hawksby in this power play of one, one last chance to set up. 21 seconds until Berg is due out. Lowen sets it up. On the near side, finds Logan Schuss. Two minutes gone by in this third quarter. Jones shoots, scores! That'll be a power play goal for Mitch Jones, who just reared back and let it rip between the legs of Shiliano. And Jones continues his fantastic start to the season. That's his seventh of the year. Yeah, this looks kind of harmless from the point. Early in the setup, Guys sort of just getting that five-man unit rolled out. And Mitch Jones from the point, nothing fancy, just a hard shot. 7-6, and he's got a goal to go along with four helpers. That came into this game with 14 points in two games. And he's got his first of the afternoon. Yeah, that led the league after a few weeks until Callum Crawford's night against New York on Friday. He's on pace for his first 100 point season, 126 to be exact. And he's already got five points. And now it's a one goal lead for San Diego. Vancouver one for two now on the man advantage. Seals are going to get that one back. Buchanan to the middle. Shoots. Penny kicks it away with his right leg. Rebound loose for Berg. He's double teamed. Berg spins away from Salt and Goodwin. Nice play by Berg. And now Fields. Can't give this guy too much space. A little pump fake, hard pass, and it's picked off. Well read by Justin Salt. He likes to run the floor when he's got an opportunity. For now, he'll pack it in and wait for the offense to join him. Shots 32, 29 for the Seals. Jones back on the attack. One on one. Jones to the far side. Keegan Ball shoots off the shoulder of Shiliano. Ball gets his own rebound. Keegan Ball, another shot, stopped by Shiliano, down on all fours. Seals get possession. Schlosser gonna stop, pass to Merrill. Comes now to the near side half wall for Noble. Almost four minutes gone by in this third quarter. Noble to the net with a shot, Penny the easy save, it's tied up in his gear. News, interviews, features, and more. Sign up for the NLL newsletter today. Visit NLL.com. Don't miss a beat. Owen Barker getting some time on offense, setting some hard screens as Schuss drops it back for Lowen. Riley Lowen shoots. Stop by Shiliano. Now loose ball in the near boards. Schuss can't pick it up. He's triple teamed. And Cleland scoops it up. Trying to run across the timeline, he does. 
Shots 33-32, San Diego. Buchanan looking to hit the score sheet. Fires a shot that was blocked. Where is it? Noble almost had it. Now it comes to Goodwin. The Warriors got numbers. It's flipped ahead for James Ray in a foot race. Ray trying to scoop it up, and it's knocked up from behind. Well defended by Fields. He has been everywhere today. And now he's going to run it up the floor. Yeah, he really has. What an athlete. Wes Burke sets it up. Taking a couple whacks from Lloyd. Burke. No goals yet in this game as he throws it in front over the head of Kiernan. Lloyd finds a loose ball. Has a warrior ahead of the play. If he wants him, it's Goodwin. And Goodwin stops. Passes to Jones. He shoots and he's got another! He's heating up Mitch Jones. Another strong game and still lots of time to go. We're tied at seven. Quickest stick in the West. As this one goes right off the shoulder into the back of the cage from Mitch Jones. Nice feed by Goodwin, good patience. And Mitch Jones does not hesitate to go top shelf on the run. Ties it at seven, brand new lacrosse game, folks. Transition goal by Vancouver. This is their second one tonight. Couple offensive players still out, but it's Brandon Goodwin who is able to bring the ball up the floor, create that offensive chance. Eighth of the season, second of the night. That's Goodwin's first point of the season. There's six points so far tonight for Mitch Jones. Jones is right back out there. Feed the hot hand, why don't you? Jones on the near side, sizing up Merrill. Jones spins away from one defender, drops it back for Lowen. Lowen shoots, stopped by Shiliano, and Merrill gets the rebound. Over five minutes played in this third quarter. The Warriors off to a good start. Exact same thing they did in the first quarter. A couple quick goals. Now winning five minute intervals. They start this third quarter hot and have the momentum right now. Noble sets up fields. Try to sidearm, it was blocked. Rebound comes to Greer. Greer from the outside, steps around Ray and puts a shot wide at Penny and that's gonna be a violation of the shot clock. And with that, we will take a breather as Kiernan gets tied up with James Ray. The official separates the two. So far, so good. To begin this second half for Vancouver, Mitch Jones has both goals. This is his latest handiwork. 7-7 from the Raj. Because of that man right there, this game is tied at seven. Jones and the Warriors now out shooting San Diego 34-33. It's Vancouver ball coming out of the break. Mitch Jones gets hot. We saw him heat up last game to the tune of nine points, getting his 300th career goal, which some might have thought was out of reach to start that game, but he came in and scored nine points and hit that marker. And until Crawford's Friday night, that was the highest point total of a player so far this season but now man as we uh, approach the end of the decade hey, here in the first month of the the That's nll 2019 2020 regular season teams are starting to get on rolls and guys are starting to pick up big numbers and we saw that from a lot of guys this weekend andrew q mark matthews warriors back to work trying to get their lead that they had in the first half Keegan Ball steps away from a defender, passes to Lowen. Lowen drops it down to Schuss, in front for Ball, pass a little too hard to handle, but it finds Mallory with seven on the shot clock, in front for Schuss, quick shot, and Shiliano gets a stick on it. Another good quick stick opportunity, and a good stop by Frank Shiliano. who said that a lot tonight, he's been solid. Bounce back game after allowing 16 on Friday at home. Zach Greer to Fields, now Buchanan. Has Berg in the middle, Buchanan hangs on to it for now. Goes towards the middle, that pass was blocked. Now a loose ball battle, gonna be won by Greer behind the net. Up top for Berg, he unloads a shot. Nice shoulder save by Penny. Square to the shooter, didn't give him a lot of room. And O'Doherty's got the loose ball and finds a wide open Ian Hawksby. Good stick by Lloyd to knock that ball into the corner. And then Penny stands up to a point blank shot from Wesley Berg, he leads this team with eight goals. Miss Jones looking for a natural hat trick. Jones thought about shooting, throws it on goal. Shiliano, the easy stop. And he's going to whip it down the floor. Merrill 
or make that holding wasn't expecting it, so he has to run onto it against the end boards. Being chased by Matt Beers to the near corner. Holding with a goal in this game already, hands off to Noble, who's all by himself on the near side wall. Jeremy Noble, longtime member of the Colorado Mammoth, passes to Kiernan. Kiernan back in front for Noble, shot right on. Penny's got it. Nice two man game between Kiernan and Noble, but Penny stays perfect in this half. Nice bomb by Tyler Cotter and slides across and hammers Jeremy Noble who slips to the inside as to get another look at his beautiful slide by Codron, and bang, shoulder to shoulder, clean physical lacrosse. Riley Lowen blows a shot wide of the goal, he had a good look and now Ball gets it back, passes to Schuss and he mishandled it, chases out to the loose ball against McIntosh. And the veteran able to come away with a loose ball. Shots now 36-35 Vancouver. Buchanan plays it in for Pearson. Loses his footing, well defended by Lloyd. He's having a strong game. Arguably his best in his young NLL career. He also picked up an assist on the last Jones goal. Yeah, he's getting more confident with every game. So far as young Derek Lloyd. Ooh. Fourth round draft pick, knocking down balls, making hands, scoring goals. Shot clock down to 10, Keegan Ball finds it. Brian who buries it! Another multi-goal game for Jordan McBride. He's got seven on the year, and the Warriors have rattled off three straight goals, and they lead 8-7. And a little something different from McBride. Before it was behind the net, the dunk. This time it's a clean overhound bounce shot. He can just score goals in so many ways. 8-7. Jones with another point. It's up to seven. Put it in. That 6.02 to go. That's, That's set. I don't know what Chris Gill said in the locker room after, or at the half rather, but it's worked. Warriors get possession off the face off. Here's the hard feed to Mitch Jones. Passes to Shuss. They've been better on both ends of the floor to start this. Big saves by Penny, good defensive stands. Keegan Ball finds Jones. Drops it off for Shuss, a little bit of room. He shoots, Giuliano ready for it. Now Shuss trying to win the battle. Tried to scoop it to Jones, but it was picked off by Holding. He's one-on-one -on -one against Jones. Holding, gonna take a shot. Penny to save with his right leg. Hawksby scoops it up, throws it down deep for Shuss. All by himself, finds Salt. And he'll back away from the pressure. 5.15 to go in this third quarter. Riley Lowen at the wheel. Gets a screen from Shuss, penalty coming up. Here's a shot from Shuss, stopped by Shiliano. Seals touch up. Running through the middle of the floor is McBride. He got decked from behind. And the Seals go in the box. Warriors will get their third power play of the afternoon. Mikey Schlosser is going to take a seat. Checking from behind, I believe, will be the call. San Diego number 59, two minute minor check from behind. Schlosser had his first in a little Sit. goal on Friday night. Got into one game last year. This is his second game. We'll check it out. This season. But the defense starting to get spread out a little bit for San Diego. Starting to get frustrated here in the third quarter. Allowing a three goal run from Vancouver. And we'll see if Vancouver can add insult to injury here yeah. on the power play. Jones scored the first power play goal earlier this quarter. He's playing in the middle in this power play again. Jones, ball behind the back to McBride in front, diving effort, and Shiliano somehow kept it out. What a save, and now the Warriors gonna have an over and back call come against them. Mark that one down, McBride in his office. Denied by Shiliano. 4.45 to go as we get a look at this outstanding save by Shiliano as he had to break. Oh, it hit the post. My bad. Shiliano gets help from his little friend. Warriors coming back to the power play here in this. Calling all weekend Warriors. Catch the fastest game on two feet. Vancouver Warriors lacrosse tickets are on sale now. Visit VancouverWarriors.com slash tickets today. Eric Penny got the start for the Vancouver Warriors tonight. And he's been sharp here in period, no, sorry, quarter number three. He's also been mic'd up. Let's go down to here. NLL wired, Eric Penny. Say Jonesy. Say low, say low, say low. Where the fuck is it? 
Thank you. By Vancouver. All right, we're back underway. Seals killing a penalty here, down by a goal. Still another minute 30 left in the penalty to Schlosser. Hey, Cox, watch the holding. Nobody. One of the officials yelling at Tyler Codron, telling him to watch the holding. Whoa. Meanwhile, Wes Burke sees a double team coming on him. Shot clock down to seven. Burke to the far side and his pass tipped. And that should probably do it for the Seals' possession as Fields just concedes. So Mitch Jones has been in on the last five Warriors goals in this game. He's hit second in the league currently in scoring with 21 points. Six behind Callum Crawford, who went off in his last game. Here's Jones quarterbacking his power play. Gets the feed from Ball. They go back and forth. Jones loses a handle briefly. Picks it back up with 10 on the shot clock. Jones, Chuss, looks. Chuss, stopped by Shiliano. Loose ball, picked up by Keegan Ball. The Warriors have numbers. Ball, backdoor feed, comes to Jones. In front of Lou and denied by Shiliano. What a save. What a sequence of events to get that shot off. Warriors looking for more. They still have 27 seconds left of power play time. Shiliano keeping it a one goal game as Lowen was absolutely robbed. Now Lowen looking for more. Jones shoots, misses the net, and he'll pick it up off the wall. 15 on this power play. Jones, Chuss in front. Pass can't connect. Ball's loose. Lowen digging for it. And we got a crease call against Riley Lowe, and that should pretty much do it for Schlosser's penalty. Good sticks by the San Diego penalty kill. Knocking those balls down. Those are scrambly power play. Some good shots by the Vancouver Warriors. And Shiliano stands tall. Noble with a shot. Puts it wide. Off the end boards. Fields is there. Dumps it behind the net for Buchanan. Buchanan looking for an option. Has room to shoot, and he does. Can't beat Penny down low. Buchanan gets his own rebound. They're still looking to hit the score sheet in this third quarter are the San Diego Seals. Down a goal. Noble with possession. Gets the screen from Buchanan. Not a lot of space down there for Noble just yet. Now he goes across the floor. Wide open with Pearson, but it rolled out of his stick. And James Ray says, thank you very much. Goodwin. Will he try something here in transition? Doesn't look like it. Backs away, passes to McBride. He'll load up a shot, puts it wide of the goal. And it'll pinball to the goaltender, Shiliano. Out it goes for Bradley. Bradley runs the floor, takes a shot, and he scores! Just activated today, Graydon Bradley beats Penny between the legs. And the Coquitlam native with his first career NLL goal. Look determined on that transition opportunity. Ran the floor and powers it past Eric Penny. And Bradley ties this game up deep into the third quarter. That is a big goal in transition for San Diego. Who mentioned they wanted that to be a better part of their game. That stings the inside thigh of Penny into the back of the cage for the Poco product. Oh, back it up. Straighten it. Lots of family and friends Sets. in the building, I imagine. And what a moment there for Bradley, who had an assist in three games Good last holder. year. Black ball. Just got put in the lineup here today and paying dividends as we're tied up at eight. Vernon Native played his junior in Poco before he got dished to the Coquitlam Madnax for a Minto Cup championship in Calgary a couple years ago. Warriors looking to get their lead back. Keegan Ball on the far side of your screen. Passes to Mitch Jones. Ends up in the stick of Shuss near corner. Chuss in front, can't connect with Riley Lowen. Battle for the loose ball, Keegan Ball's got it with two on the shot clock. Passes to Chuss, last second shot, kicked away by Shiliano. And now a foot race between Beers and Belgrave, or make that Hawksby and the veteran turns on the Jets. That's a good lose, you're running head on head to another player. Reinhold's running for it, Hawksby's running for it, just absolutely no fear that close to the wall. Scoops up that ball and gets possession for Vancouver. Lowen with a shot, put it wide, just behind the back, nearly got it to go, that would have been pretty. And now the Seals take it the other way, last minute of play, third quarter. McIntosh sets it up for Berg. West Berg, two goals and two assists on Friday. So far today he has four helpers. He controls it along the near boards, nine on the shot clock. Beers watching him closely, trying to get the right angle on him. Berg forced the pass. Here's a shot by Fields, and he put it 
off the shoulder of Penny. And Buchanan goes back to fetch. Shot clock and game clock about a three second differential. Shiliano looking to the bench, slowly jogs, and an extra attacker not out there just yet. They're all looking at Josh Anderson right now, the offensive legend who's barking out orders from the bench. I think he wants to milk this. There's gonna be four second differential here. Shiliano is gonna stay, but they're gonna milk this down in the final seconds. Kiernan across the floor to Fields. He's got the hot stick, but he's running out of time. Fields hard pass to Buchanan. Shot just goes wide. Might have grazed Penny either way. The buzzer sounds. Not enough time for Vancouver to get up the floor. Tied through 45. 8-8 as we get a look at the equalizer heading to break. Bradley with his first career NLL goal. Well, it's been an entertaining afternoon of lacrosse. Seals and Warriors tied up at eight after 45 minutes as we get a look at the summary. That was all Vancouver to start. Jones with back-to-back -back tallies and then Jordan McBride gave Vancouver the lead at 8-7 before the Seals tied it up again. But Fields has had a fantastic night with three goals and Mitch Jones with another 7.9. He's averaging seven a night since the start of the season, Brando. Yeah, he is on fire. One of the main reasons why this game is tied right now is the Warriors were down by two. Coming into this third quarter. Shots 43-40 for Vancouver. As mentioned, the Warriors are playing the next two games on the road. Next Saturday, they're in Colorado to take on the Mammoth at 6.30. And following that, in Philly on Friday, January 10th at 4 p.m. Pacific. Their next home game will be the 17th of this month against those Mammoth at 7.30 as Vancouver will play Colorado two of the next three games. And the Mammoth are humming right now. Big win in Georgia last night. That is a young offense and a world-class defense and goalie doing damage right now in the West. So pretty much must win here for Vancouver against a West Division opponent. You need to get the season series against San Diego. And Vancouver looking to start off this fourth quarter with a goal. It's Mallory. Dropping it back for Keegan Ball. He loads up and puts it wide. Ends up in the stick of Jones off the half wall. Now in front for Ball behind the back. He almost did it for a third time in this season. Great stop, Giuliano. Yeah, if he doesn't score behind the back once a night, does Keegan Ball even exist? 100 push-ups. Now the Seals get their first touch of this fourth quarter. Thanks, Jersey. Noble. To Fields, a little head fake. Fields try to pass, it was blocked. Loose ball finds the goal stick of Penny. Looking ahead, he's got a wide open O'Doherty. O'Doherty passing to McBride as the wave makes its way around Rogers Arena. Now Keegan Ball gets the feed from McBride. Cuts to the middle, Ball had his shot blocked. Just picks it up far corner. Now we got a broken stick. A sealed defender playing without a twig. And now a shot and a goal for Mitch Jones. Stay hot. Another goal for Mitch Jones. He's been in on the last six goals for the Warriors this afternoon. And the Warriors go up by one. From distance for Mitch Jones. Casually. McIntosh doesn't really get out to greet him. Nice to throw a sneaker in the way at the last second there. But Jones just painting corners from a tough angle. Firing up the boys on the bench right now. And the Warriors have a lead in the fourth quarter. Team leading ninth goal of the season. When you're hot, you're hot. Throw it on net. And that one had some heat on it. Now off the bench, a wide open chance. And a goal from Kiernan. Or check that Buchanan, just like that, we're tied again. Came in with a burst off the bench, wide open, and he beats Penny. And that Warriors lead did not last long. Answers on answers tonight from both sides. Not even time to celebrate the Mitch Jones goal. And Buchanan quiets the crowd, ties it at nine with a hard cut as they're changing into the offensive zone. Merrill with the dish through 
And Buchanan, who they need to get a little bit more from this season, has a big money ball goal here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's his first of the game, third of the season. Nice Clellan. speed by Merrill, who will get the assist. 50-50 in the face-off circle, Clellan and Bobby Snyder. And now we get a whistle. I see what the call is here. The ball in 30 never ran at all. Okay. So there's 24 seconds on the third. Go to the, get it corrected, I'll let them know. This way, 24 on the shot. So the shot clock didn't start. They're putting 24, 24 seconds on the seal shot 24. clock. 24 seconds. Please reset Send the shot in. clock to 24 seconds. So it's a 45-41 shot advantage for Vancouver. Miss Jones has the last three goals for the Warriors. He's on the bench right now is Burke. Trying to get his first of the day. And now a call going against San Diego. Off the bench, Codron has a man wide open. It was Lowen, he threw it behind him, but Lowen climbs the ladder in the corner to pick it up. Runs to the middle, Riley Lowen. Slicing and dicing. Gets away from the pressure and one hands it to Mallory. Good handle by Lowen to get away from pressure. That could have been an easy strip. Mallory looking for his first shot right on. Shiliano to save, no rebound. So two minutes gone by in this fourth quarter. Both teams have a goal early on. Shooter, I didn't go over this. Official not happy with someone at the Seals pinch. That's Ian Garrison talking to Josh Anderson. Noble on the far side has room. He shoots. Penny to save. Rebound. And Noble ran through the crease. It's been all nicknames from Ian Garrison tonight. Meanwhile, behind the defense is Lloyd. And he's a little too short. Couldn't grab that high feed from Salt in transition. And oh, the Seals pick it up. Josh Anderson, shooter. Garrett McIntosh is turbo. Garrison of calling games that he's in. He's a, he's a colorful ref. And Great to have him wired up. Connor Fields from that same spot. He's been deadly there. This time stopped by Penny. And it's Vancouver ball. Three minute mark, fourth quarter. Tense here in the Raj. Vancouver looking for their first two game win streak since becoming the Warriors. And San Diego looking for their first win of the season. 0 for 3 to start. Logan Schuss ran through the crease and touched it next. So it's San Diego possession. Trying to. Gets something here in transition. It's Reinhold all by himself. He shoots and put it wide. Nobody knows where the loose ball is. It's behind the net. And the Warriors are going to get possession due to a crease call. Reinhold broke his stick on that last defensive play. Now he's out with a fresh gold shaft. Logan Schuss getting the screen from Lowen. Schuss picked up an assist on that Jones marker earlier this quarter. Passes to Keegan Ball. Falls, gets back up, double team on, he lost his stick and the ball. It's loose. Great job by Holding and Merrill to cause that turnover. Yeah, a couple of vets there, just sandwich on ball. Now a loose ball battle between Buchanan and Beers. Vancouver captain trying to hold the stick of Buchanan. Salt's in there, picks up a loose ball. And he'll run it the other way. All for naught was that Brody Merrill cam holding loose as Vancouver gets it right back and looking for the fourth quarter go-ahead goal. Mike Mallory passes up top, ball to Mitch Jones, looking for his fourth goal of the afternoon. Jones drops it back for Lowen. Riley Lowen doesn't like what he sees. He's only got five seconds to shoot. Drops it back to Jones in front for Ball, and his shot's blocked on its way through. Great job there by Eli Gobrecht getting in the shooting lane. 10.20 to go, fourth quarter. You can feel the intensity picking up minute by minute. This is Berg working on Codron, cutting in, stopped by Penny, and then Berg ran through the crease. This calm save by Eric Penny. Doesn't show too much. Clean stick save as Berg struggled to find the back of the net tonight. Today, eight bucks. Meanwhile, Logan shots with a shot, puts it wide. McBride passes to James Ray. Ray to the far side for Jones. Passes to Shuss. Nine on the shot clock. Right back to Jones. One on one against Merrill. Jones looks, shoots. Easily stopped by Shiliano. And now Clellan overran it, but he knocks it free to an open teammate in McIntosh, but he lost the handle. 
A battle still ensues now. Beers falls. Schlosser can't get it. McBride's there. Throws it ahead for Schuss. One on one behind the back shot. No good. Now McBride wins a loose ball battle. What a shift by the four check of the Vancouver Warriors. Beers throws out that what size 12 shoe to keep the ball on on side. McBride gets it. This is a tire D. Got a strike. Warriors working hard on offense. Here's Jones all alone in front, and he couldn't handle it. It rolls to the near corner for McBride. Jordan McBride with a shot stop. Rebound, Keegan Ball able to pick it up. In front for McBride, shoots and he scores! Hard work pays off! What a sequence by the offense! Out hustling, loose balls, McBride, hat trick goal! Warriors up by one. McBride makes him pay a slippery ball all over that zone for San Diego. Everyone's struggling to pick it up. Vancouver sniffing out loose balls where they've been beaten all night. And they come up big when it matters the most. Go ahead, fourth quarter hat trick goal by Jordan McBride. And he was the one that got the extra possession, Brad. Digging for the loose ball against Schlosser. Out muscles him and He's on the business then. Keegan Ball will get the assist and the Warriors get the lead back. We'll see how long for as the Seals are on the attack. Not so fast as Gobrek stops up. 8.45 to play. Eighth goal of the season for Jordan McBride. Still no assists. Doesn't matter for him. Both Jones and McBride hat tricks here this afternoon as Fields takes a shot and he's got another long bomb under the belt. Connor Fields ties it at 10. And he's got four today. What is this game? Unreal here from Rogers Arena. Connor Fields, best game in the National Lacrosse League so far. Safe to say that. And this is a good sign for San Diego Seals fans to see Connor Fields shooting the ball the way he's shooting the ball here and getting more cool, calm, and confident. But another silencer. Warriors will need to answer back. They just have not gone away. They fought off a couple two-goal deficits in the first half. Both teams playing it so tight to the vest this afternoon. Another battle here off the face-off. Cleland in front of his own bench. Pressured from behind. Throws it to a wide open Gobrecht, and it's an over and back call. 8-13 to play. Strap in. We are in for a finish, but not so fast. Cleland and Beers, former teammates, getting into it after the fact. Beers without his lid. And now the official looks like he's going to hold Beers back. No one wants to take a penalty now. It's getting physical. 8-13 to go. Here's a nice face-off battle. Not a lot of space out there right now. We're coming back with more fourth quarter action. It's the NLL on BR Live. Some rough stuff between Cleland and Beers. After the whistle was blown and Beers is in the box with Reinhold. I think Beers got five minutes for face mask and Reinhold got two minutes for roughing. We'll see in a moment here. Yeah, this could be a bit of a game changer here. Beers is gonna get five for face mask and Reinhold's gonna get two. So get a look. So four on four for two minutes, then a big opportunity for San Diego. He's been pretty good on the power play the last couple games to try to get the fourth quarter lead. NLL action next weekend has two games on Saturday. Kicking off the weekend, Matt Rambo in the wings visit Connor Kelly in the Riptide. And then Mitch Jones and these Warriors head to Colorado to face off Dylan Ward in the Mammoth. The 3-0 Mammoth. Catch the action on BR Live in the league's Twitter and Facebook accounts. So both teams arguing who should have possession, and I think they're gonna give it to San Diego. Initially, it was supposed to go to Vancouver after the over and back call, but it seals possession. Probably because Beers got the five minute major. So like Brad said, lots of room out there, four on four. 8.13 to go, the Warriors have put 50 shots towards Chiliano. Penny has seen 45 come his way. Lots this, of rubber, lots of goals, lots of hits. And this, this is where you test your metal. This is adversity here. Gonna be down for an extended period. With 8.13 to go, tie game, fourth quarter. 
looking for back-to-back -back wins and a big West Division opponent win for Vancouver. San Diego, same deal, also looking for the first win of the season. Fields, this is where he scored a lot of his goals here today. Passes the far side for Berg. Spins, and now an illegal check coming to Buchanan. He's gonna get a penalty. I think his elbow got up there on Ian Hawksby, so that's a bit of a game changer. That's huge. And Hawksby shaken up on his knees, trying to shake off the cobwebs. We'll see if that's a five-minute major. Is he leaking? We'll take a listen. I Two minutes of legal body check. Where's the is. ball, boys? Buchanan catches Hawksby. And the Warriors a big four on three here. Reinhold's gonna come out in minute 44. The four players out there, Jones, Schuss, Ball, and McBride. Oh, this is the chance to strike. Money in the bank, four on three, should be at least. Everybody's had a touch. McBride shoots, Giuliano saves. No room between the legs there. And we'll see if San Diego can kill some time off the penalty. Berg off the bench, feeds Noble. Noble did no rush. Shot clock down to 10. They may think about getting it towards Penny now. Berg sees a double team coming. Codger keeps him to the outside. Berg, swim move. Cuts back to the middle. Berg, one hand on his stick, rolls a soft one to Penny. And that Warriors power play going to come right back out of the gate. Still 56 seconds until Reinhold comes out of the box. Got to get one four on three. This is the chance here for Vancouver. Shots and Jones playing pitch and catch. Now Ball, Jones, back to Ball, McBride. Jones, McBall, Jones shoots off the post. And it goes over the glass and out of play. It'll stay with Vancouver. Chance to do it again. Well defended by Brody Merrill and Cam Holding at the top. Belgrave at the bottom of this upside down triangle. It's Jones, just hit the post. Looking for his fourth of the game. Down low, McBride looking for his fourth as well. He's stopped by Giuliano. Now Belgrave trying to run around Logan Schuss, and he does. And a missed opportunity here for Vancouver as Reinhold's coming out in 15 seconds. Yeah, it's a big stop. Big stop by San Diego here if they can kill this last 10 seconds. And they'll pat their defense, and they'll pat Brody Merrill on the back. And now a three-minute power play coming up for the Seals. Locked at 10s. Reinhold out of the box. Four, four. Reinhold with a shot. Missed the net. Shot clock down to one, another shot is blocked. So now in eight seconds, it'll be a power play for San Diego, under six minutes to go in this game. It's Jones shorthanded as Buchanan runs back to help out on D. See if Jones can get it towards the net, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Double team likely coming soon. Jones takes it around the net. Dunk effort. Can't jam it in. And the Seals will go to work on a massive power play. 5.35 to go. 2.20 left in Beers' five-minute major. San Diego one for three on the power play today. Greer. Berg. Back to Greer. Fields. Berg. Fields. Across the floor, wide open, Buchanan, no room on the short side on Penny, and the goaltender's got it. And he's done a good job of hugging that right side pipe tonight. Been a couple quick stick opportunities over there, but he slammed the door shut and hasn't left any opening for the righties. Schuss down in the far corner. O'Doherty's gonna run off to the bench. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Schuss from a sharp angle, Shiliano not fooled there. Hugs the post, and it's San Diego ball. And when we come back, we will finish off this fourth quarter. The Seals still in the power play for a minute and 37 seconds. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss this finish. You're watching the NLL on VR Live. Welcome back inside Rogers Arena as we get to the Geico play of the game. And 
It's the rookie Derek Lloyd's first career goal. Grab him a bottle of wine because he's got a corkscrew in his hand as he buries his first ever goal. Fantastic night so far from D. Lloyd. He's been knocking down passes, a couple hits, and his first goal was a transition marker, short-handed redemption from a penalty earlier. That is your Geico play of the game. So it's the biggest penalty kill of the season to date for the Warriors. A minute 37 left in Beer's five-minute major. The Seals killed off a massive four on three. We'll see if the Warriors can kill one off as well. They put 55 shots towards Shiliano. The Seals 47 on Eric Penny today. And we're back underway, five on four power play. Noble play in the middle, passes to Bird. Looking to hit the score sheet over to Greer behind the net. Fields thought about dunking it, passes to Buchanan instead. Now Bird to Greer, he shoots, stopped by Penny, and the goaltender had it for a second, and then the Seals ran through the crease, so it is Vancouver ball. They're chipping at Fields a little bit. Toddler Codron's trying to get under his skin. Fields retaliating, but no calls on the play. And a big kill here for Vancouver, a buck nine to kill off. Keegan Ball shorthanded. The Warriors have a shorthanded goal already in this game. Ball lost it, splits a couple defenders as he got it back. Keegan Ball to McBride, pass a little too far ahead. Shot clock down to 10 as McBride has a double team on. Trying to take it towards the crease, he lost his stick. And then throws it to an empty corner. Shot clock set to expire. 43 seconds left in this Seals power play. Under four minutes to go. Can the Warriors get another stop? Fields has a hot hand, four goals in this game. He's out there on the near side of your screen. Berg in the middle, Fields, Greer, back to Fields. Him and Berg go back and forth. Now Berg gets a screen, he's got room, he shoots, and Penny goes down on a knee to make the stop. Berg gets it back, behind the back feed. Noble, Berg, Greer, cuts to the middle, drops it off for Fields. Almost lost it, gets it back. Now Noble on the far side, up top, nearly picked off by Lloyd. Beers comes out of the box and the Warriors killed it off. Still time on the shot clock as Fields lets it go. Blocked. Berg gets it back. Drops it off for Fields wide open. Penny makes an outstanding save to keep it tied at 10. And look at Lloyd out there killing penalties in absolute crunch time of a tie game. Vancouver now gets Matt Beer shoots and Shiliano makes a save. He lost his helmet and stick. Close call there, Shiliano wants a penalty against the captain of Vancouver. I don't oh, think he's gonna get one. This place would have exploded. Matt Beers comes out looking for redemption. Tie game under three to go. Shots on goal 56-50 now as both goaltenders seeing a rubber tonight. Every possession so massive here. 235 to go. Westberg with a shot. Penny, another great stop. Berg gets his own rebound, shoots, and he can't beat Penny. Oh, Eric Penny standing tall. Warriors come back the other way. Bird can't buy one today. Still some time to go though. Now Keegan Ball out there. Goes back and forth with Jones. It's Jones down to the corner for Schuss. Holding, watching closely. Schuss gets away. Head up, drops it back for Jones. Four on the shot clock. Jones to Schuss, lets it go and he missed the net. Oh, I thought Shiliano might have had a piece of that one. San Diego's gonna get the ball back in their stick. Don't forget, highlights analysis will break down this crazy game in full after on MLL Post Game Live right here on BR Live. Buchanan sets it up for Greer. Greer to Fields. This is where he likes to shoot, and this time Penny makes a save. Battle for the loose ball. Pearson has it, lost it. Beers picks it up, throws it to Ray, and the Warriors have numbers in the hurry. James Ray on the near side, just gonna slow. Goes to the far side for Jones. In at 25 to go. Beers with an excellent defensive play to make this happen as Jones passes to Lowen. Lowen to Keegan Ball, shot clock down to nine. Ball, thought about it. Goes far side, Jones. Passes in front, miss Keegan Ball, good defense there by the Seals as Bradley got a piece of that pass. Yeah, they stand tall, that's another rookie or another young guy making a big stand late in this game. Lots of confidence by these coaching staffs into their youngsters as Mitch Jones tried to scoop it to the inside and that shoveler was knocked down. 
50 seconds to go, still tied at 10. Westberg has a little room, throws it in front, just missed Kiernan. Picks it up in the near side corner. Kiernan around the net, five on the shot clock. Passes to Berg, he's got room, and Penny makes a save, rebound, picked up by Salt. Could be the last possession for Vancouver. 10 second, uh, a seven second differential. They can't call a timeout, they just gotta try to milk this down and give San Diego as little time as possible to go back the other way, no, they will call. Timeout called Vancouver. 22 seconds to go. It is tense, is it just me? This is the game of the year so far for these fans at Rogers Arena. Yeah, it really has been. They got a nice win here a few weeks ago. So we saw the play of the game. Now it's time for the save of the game, brought to you by Alterna Bank. And this one came Shiliano. Oh, it's going to be Shiliano on beers late in this game. That could have been a difference maker as he spat out of the gate after serving that penalty deep in the fourth quarter here. And Shiliano stands up to it. That's the Alterna save of the game. So like you said, Brad, a second seven, seven second differential between the game and shot clock. Chris Gill with the whiteboard out, talking to the offense. It's a five on five play because you don't dare pull your goaltender with that much time left. We'll see lots of time for San Diego to get back up the floor if they make a stop here. But whoever's taking the shot, this is the shot of their season. Keegan Ball gonna start with it and he'll likely kill off some clock. Back underway. McBride and Keegan Ball going back and forth. Shot clock down to eight. Who wants to be a hero? Lowen, Jones, three seconds left, shoots and he put it wide. Keegan Ball with one second left, lets it go and he didn't beat the clock. And now the Seals will call their timeout, six seconds left. Nope. They'll have a chance to win it. Go we'll gather around Josh Anderson. One of the all-time great minds this sport has produced. We'll see what he can produce on the X's and O's. The shot went wide from Jones. And then Ball was looking for that streaking Jones on that far side, opts to shoot. Looking at the game leaders for both sides. Fields leads the Seals with four goals today. Berg with five assists. Three helpers for Noble, three helpers for Greer, three points for Buchanan. For Vancouver, Jones leads the way with eight points. McBride has a hat trick. Shots with a couple points. Keegan Ball, quiet six point game. One goal, five assists. The silent assassin. So they put an extra second on the clock. The Seals will start with it deep in their own end and have to hustle it up floor. They want to beat the buzzer. Giuliano gonna remain at the bench, so it's a six on five for the Seals, looking for their first win of the year. They did not record their third loss until their seventh game last year. That was actually in February against these Warriors. Meanwhile, Vancouver, it took them seven games to record their second win of the season. Both teams have shot away from chalking up a W, but for now, advantage San Diego as they start with it. Brody Merrill, big body out there to create some chaos. And here we go. A sprint down the floor by Buchanan. Throws it in for Fields. Pump fake, back to Buchanan. Shoots, and Penny makes a save, and we're going to overtime. Defense sets up a nice wall, takes a shot away from Fields, as he had to think that's where the ball was going. He goes back to Buchanan. And Eric Penny, another calm save here. He's playing some great lacrosse right now. First to 11 wins tonight. And the Warriors out shooting San Diego 56-54. What more can you say about these two goaltenders, Brad? It's a shame that one of them's gonna take the loss. Right? These goaltenders know each other very well. Eric Penny and Chiliano are are, sh are close after, close out outside of the sport rather, as we take a look back at some of the things that jumped off the page here tonight. But yeah, 54 shots for San Diego, 56 shots for Vancouver. Both these teams love to shoot the ball. Westberg, Mitch Jones and Logan Schaas among the guys who've taken the most shots in the league. But yeah, Eric Penny's been sharp tonight. He slides over, makes a couple big stops. Lloyd 
with that beautiful twister in transition. And every team's had an answer. The biggest run in this game has only been three goals. And the teams have stayed tight. Offenses have been good. Defense has made some good stands. It's been a well-matched, dead-even lacrosse game. And now we have some extra lacrosse for the fans here at Rogers Arena. Just the second overtime game in this one. So last year, I will send it down to Penny, who's mic'd up. Yeah. No, the pressure's much better this quarter. Watching the fourth here when I go for water breaks. Frank's smoking me. Yep, 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 yep. Good talk. Watch early! Watch early! That's it. Keep it going, eh? Keep it going. Eric Penny has faced 54 shots. 10 have gotten by him. Last year, the Seals did not play an overtime game. While the Warriors played in two, they won them both. Of course, Shus got the first ever home win in Warriors history. And Matt Beers opened the season in Calgary with an OT winner. We'll see if they can be 3-0 in their franchise history off the faceoff. It's going to be controlled by San Diego, and they're going to call an early timeout. Why not? Trying to design a play right at the start of overtime here. Again, gather around Josh Sanderson, see what kind of tricks he has up his sleeve. He's got many. And Vancouver will try to make another stand like they did at the end of regulation time. Good little Sunday fun day here at Rogers Arena. Crowd looks about where it usually is. I would say no more, no less than an average Saturday night or Friday night game here, which is nice to see. There's some question marks about what would happen on the Sunday, but good family-friendly game here. Lots of kids in their they've, uniforms. Yeah, they really catered it to the kids. They got free popcorn if you wore your minor jersey in here tonight or today. It's almost tonight, right? I don't know, man. I think that's 10 bucks. That's two pints at the sports bar. That's where some of these fans may be going after the game, but they also have a carnival on the turf as well. So they set a good wall that Fields couldn't shoot through at the end of the regulation time there. Be a five on five set. Here we go. Next goal wins. Seals with the first possession of OT. Buchanan throws it down to Berg. He'd love to get one in his hometown. Berg. Greer. Fields. Buchanan. Shot clock down to 10. Buchanan in front, wide open. Greer stuffed by Penny and Hawksby's got the rebound. Nice save by Eric Penny. Vancouver's not going to call a timeout. They're going to just head up the floor. Chris Gill says, go, go, go. Mitch Jones has had the hot stick in this second half. Three goals here today. McBride also at three. But it's Jones controlling, throws it in front. And a shot by Lowe and it's stopped by Shiliano. Great seam pass, but Shiliano comes up big. Yeah, good play. Slipping Riley Lowen down low. It's where he makes bank. But he's stopped by Frank. Seals get their second possession of OT. Kiernan to his left to Noble. Noble waiting for a pick. Goes across the floor. Fields. Noble. Down low to Kiernan. Kiernan. Greer in front. Noble shoots. Penny makes a stop. No rebound. Dumped for punctuation as Warriors back up the floor to hurry. Good win again. Good win with an assist in this game. Sees Keegan Ball off the bench. Now it comes to Mitch Jones. Shuss. McBride. Mike Mallory to Mitch Jones on the near side. Jones. Turns. Looks. Jones has Ruby shoots it. Stopped by Shiliano. And now fast break the other way for Merrill. Could win the game. Merrill, game on a stick. Scores! The Seals captain, Brody Merrill. Winner in overtime as the Seals pour off the benches. They get their first win of the season. They look a little excited. San Diego into the win column. And none other than the future Hall of Famer Brody Merrill. Kind of did what Matt Beers did in Calgary last year. Says, you know what? I'm done. I want this game over with. Let's go home, boys. And Brody Merrill brings it up the floor.
Every goal looked at here in overtime, but that looks pretty clean as the ball is in before he runs through the crease. Tough break for the Vancouver Warriors as the Seals enter the win column for the first time this season. Merrill's first of the year, the three-time transition player of the year, rookie of the year, defensive player of the year. The hero, and you can see the Seals fired up. Eric Penny fought his heart out, deserved a better fate, but at the same time, Shiliano equal to the task. So close on the scoreboard, 58-57 the shots for Vancouver, and in the end, an 11-10 victory for the San Diego Seals. Yeah, Eric Penny looks pretty depleted out there. That's a game you don't want to let slip away. And big Brody Merrill calls game in Vancouver. Coming back to wrap this up. Merrill the hero at Rogers Arena. Welcome back to Rogers Arena. The Seals defeat the Warriors 11-10 in OT. I'm here with the player of the game, Connor Fields. Connor, four goals today, and you were just feeling it in the first half. What were you seeing out there that was helping you score those goals? Um, I mean, we were, I think we were just moving the ball well and, and taking our shots, and we have them. I think, you know, early in the last couple of games, we were double clutching on our shots and wait, waiting too long and getting them blocked. So our main focus today was, you know, moving the ball on offense and, um, and just getting those shots through and um, off quick. So I think that's our key today. And you guys picked up your first W of the season. How much does that mean to you guys, and what does that mean moving forward for the rest of the season? I mean, it's definitely, you know, really exciting. And, you know, the captain putting in the game winner was uh, was really cool to see, too. He's, you know, a great leader and, and no better guy to put in that goal. Um, but, you know, moving forward, we just want to use this as momentum. You know, got the monkey off our back, kind of. And, um, you know, now we're trying to roll here, get some wins together and, and make this a run. Now, I have to ask you because, you know, before today's game, everyone was talking about how this is a big West Division rivalry and things kind of got heated in the second half. Did that kind of add some more fuel to your guys' fire just as the game went along? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think so. This is our rivalry. Every time we come here, or they come to us. You know, it's a divisional game and, and all these games matter. Um, so um, just coming here, you know, high intensity and, and we took the lead into half we thought was big. And, you know, they jumped out on us in the second half, but, you know, we stayed together and, and you know, try to make the most of the situation and, and you know, chip away at it. Well, congratulations on being the player of the game. Congratulations on the W and all the best for the rest of the season. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. Up to, back to you. Thank you, Chantelia. Yeah, what a game by Fields. What a game by the Seals overall. Looking for their first win, and they were desperate to get it. Full value for this win, Brad, because whenever they are down, it seemed like they had an answer a few minutes later, and next thing you know, the game's tied. They take the lead. The Warriors come back. The Seals take the lead, and in the end, it was fitting. It kind of went to overtime. Yeah, that's what lacrosse is all about. We really treated to one of those special games here today. And, yeah, it's something that, that Pat Merrill, the head coach of the San Diego Seals, talked about that they didn't do against Calgary the other night that was really important for them today was to answer back and to not allow any big runs and stay within reach, and then good things can happen. And they did as balls were falling tonight. And Brody Merrill, what can you say about future Hall of Famer, all-time legend who sniffs out loose balls better than anybody, picks up that speed up the floor, and you just got a sense by the time he crossed center that that was going in the back of the net, and he powers it through for the big win. So a hard-fought battle by the San Diego Seals, and full credit for the Vancouver Warriors for pushing these guys to overtime. You know, same thing could be said about the Vancouver Warriors. They didn't allow any big runs. Three goals was the biggest run any team allowed tonight. Um, and they stuck with it, too, and they had an answer for everything. They had some good defensive stands. Eric Penny played fantastic lacrosse, and they pushed this thing to, to extra time so it's about as close as you can get and not pull off a victory and looking at some of the highlights there's the no goal goal by keegan ball to make it two nothing and here's a kind of a fluky one fields gets the roll derek lloyd what a game he had his first multi-point effort in his young career scores his first goal shorthanded and then fields this is not a repeat that was his spot on the, the floor the entire game, Brad, right here, sidearm, bang. Yeah, it was really the offense, and I was talking about it all night tonight. He's such a creative player, and he shoots the ball so well, and it's a good sign for Seals fans and fans around the National Lacrosse League to see a young American like Connor Fields filling up at the back of the net. You know, the way he was playing tonight could be a young Tom Schreiber in the making. And what a save this was, Shiliano on beers. That was a save of the game, as that would have gave the Warriors a late lead, and then Greer in overtime, stopped by Penny. Warriors had a, 
Couple of looks, but in the end, it was Merrill finding a loose ball at center. And the old Wiley vet sealing the deal. Picks up the first win for the Seals. Finds room between the legs of Eric Penny as he looks up into the heavens. But what more can you say, not only about Penny, but Chiliano. Those two were outstanding here this afternoon. Yeah, Brandon. it was a real goaltender battle. It was a real treat to watch those guys make big saves, big timely saves to keep their team in it. And they really led the charge for both those squads tonight. So a good defensive battle, good goaltending battle, some nice goals tonight. And back-to-back -back lacrosse, we are really treated to a good Sunday, fun day uh, afternoon matinee here. I know they, they did lose the game, but if you're the Warriors, can you... Get some momentum at all going on on the road for your next couple? You have to feel pretty good about their performance for sure. You know, you got different offensive guys clicking, a lot of different guys finding the back of the net. You had some transition. You had a standout goaltender night. You just got beat by an all-time ledge in, in overtime. So I definitely think the Warriors are going to be a little deflated after this one. You saw the boys wanting to pick up some momentum. They've never strung back-to-back -back wins together since they become the Vancouver Warriors. So I know that was important to them. Now they go into a, a couple tough road barns coming up here. But, you know, they can take solace in the way that they played tonight. They can feel good about their effort uh, going forward, knowing that they're hanging with every team in the league right now. I love these Sunday games. Sign me up for another Sunday fun day. The crowd we was energetic. Unfortunately, they didn't get the result they wanted. We still got all night to go out and uh, and hang out after this one, too. So, yeah, nice to nice to get the early afternoon games out of the way. And your evening's free, so uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, lacrosse fans. Not a bad way to end the decade in the National Lac Lacrosse League. Unfortunately for the Warriors and their fans, they are losers in overtime. Fields was a star. He had four goals. Chiliano was a stud between the pipes. And in the end, Brody Merrill with the game on his stick is the hero. What a way to end it if you're a San Diego Seal fan. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, everyone. For Chantel Shan, Brad Chowler, I'm Brad Astle. So long. We'll see you in 2020. You have been watching a special presentation of the National Lacrosse League.